All right. Hello, test one three. All right. Um, the lights went out. Thankfully, I wasn't late. <laughs> but yeah, lights lights just straight up went out. Uh, which we'll call again a minute before I start streaming. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's finish this. Mm -mm. Hold on, let me get my uh, ref picture. Okay, all right. So let's, we can start with base color here. Also, let me see what what layers these are. There's like there's quite a few layers. Um, let me see if there's any layers I can I can combine. What is what even is this layer? Hold on. We have another empty layer. I swear, I feel like I feel like uh my my layer count is super bloated because I. I like to forget about my layers. <laughs> okay, let's uh, I'm gonna remove this first, so I can like merge layers. Okay, mm all right, I'll merge these two layers. There we go, and then this is the other layer. All right, that should be all right. Now let's get a, a dark color for the background. Just a, oh, actually, probably not green because that's like the. Uh, like, most of the pictures gonna be green. I'm gonna do it red. Uh, yes, blood red, of course. <laughs> Just to make it easier for me to, like, see everything. Alright, so... Um, let's start with, like, skin color. Because that's the easiest. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Uh... Hmm... Alright... I also just realized there should be this here. Like so. Okay. Alright. Should be good. Also, I just also just realized I forgot to like forget the buttons on the on this thing. Let me just quickly do that. So do I want just like normal I guess I'll just do normal buttons here. I'm not, not gonna do any like any any intricate designs because oh, because I don't want to make things hard for myself. Um, where's the circle? Ah, uh, okay. There you go. Okay. No. All right. I also just realized I used like the blade for like and base color, but you know what? Whatever. This should be fine. I hope. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's get a. Let's so just let's start with the ba white base. I can, I can change the color a bit later. There you go. Okay. And the socks are also white, so let's do this. Uh, I don't know what color I want to go for for the shoes later. I'll figure it out. Um, now green. Um, let's see what I, what green should I go for actually? Let me try starting with this. Yeah, I can just start with that color. darker green for the dress so let's try this maybe actually it looks nice I can, I can work with this hmm. oh, so I was confused for a second because pressing K uh, gives me the the stamp tool of the eyedropper tool. What is the hotkey for stamp tool, anyways? L. I guess I just press the button adjacent to it. Okay. This. Yes. 
Here we go. Um, this. Ah, the tiny holes. That's why I don't really like having tiny holes in the in the thingy when I'm drawing. But eh, whatever. What's done is done. Okay. In the future, maybe I kind of want to try something different. Like when I'm, when I uh, w like for the tiny little holes like this, I want to try to just fill them up with uh, with with the line color. I wonder how that will look. But I already did it for like, I already um, filled it up for this picture. So ah. Uh. It shouldn't be that difficult. Also, I just realized this is very wrong. There's supposed to be a thing here. Something like this, there you go. And it should be black, so we'll resume this for now. Same with over here. There you go. Let's do this. And grab this. This. Mm. I'll probably do. Hold on. Not pressing my keys properly, properly for some reason. Second person buttons. There we go. Okay, yeah, that should be good. Okay. It looks a bit better. Um. Okay. Should I just make it black? I guess I'll just make it black for the for the gun. And I also don't know for the shoes. Not not full black. I was want I want to do like green. I don't know why it became full black. Maybe I think I'm gonna start with green. I'm noticing like the million mistakes I made yesterday. To be fair, I was half asleep, but still, that's a lot of mistakes. Even though I'm half asleep. Okay. Um, the remitting magic. I don't know if I should go for like a. Uh, uh, red or pink because uh, pink will fit better with the red color screen but I feel like a red will be will look a bit nicer let's try pink uh, but I want like a more um, not like that I want a more reddish pink like magenta ish kind of like that and if I um, make it darker add a bit more red Hmm, maybe something like this, maybe? I think this is alright, yeah. Okay, now... Oh, and this is supposed to be pink as well. Um... Okay, I think that's true by everything, let's do the gun. Uh... I don't know if I should just make it all the same color, probably a darker color, hold on. Or if I should like add some details that's uh, like a different color, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna bother. I'm th I think I'm just gonna like keep it the one color, just to make things easier for myself. Um, this should be this. There we go. Okay, now let me just see, is that all? Yeah, that should be all. Now let's actually, uh, let's do face color first and then we'll start with the thingy. The, 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 the. We'll start shading everything. Here we 
go. Um. This first. Uh, here we go. Fill these two up. Mm, I don't like how this looks. I need, I need to fix this. So let's do this. And then um, do this. And this. And this. There you go. It looks a bit better. Safe. This and I am actually not sure what color I'm supposed to use for the eyes. Let me check my references. Also, welcome, best come nice as leave in. Um, let's see. Let's see. Check the color for the eyes. It's yellow, but like which yellow? Hmm. Let me see. Oh wait, yeah, I do have. A, I do have like an uh, like. The official picture for like a reference. Let me use that. Give me a second. Okay. Also, here's here's our progress. Uh, I love how blood red is like perfect for the picture, but it's also like the most the best color to like have the background in to like to check for the what you call it again to make sure everything is colored. When I when I draw um when I draw usually I change the. Especially when I'm doing base color, I usually change the background to a color that's I that's like not really that used uh, in the in the picture because it makes it much easier to spot things like what is this? Spot things like holes. <laughs> oh, but what is this? Why is this here? W weird. But yeah. All right. Heels are alive, Nanuda. Okay. Um. Okay, I guess, I, I guess I'll just use like this regular yellow for now, and then I'll... Uh, it goes from like, the eye, the eyes should go from like, a gradient from yellow to orangey, so like, later I'm gonna need to keep that in mind when I'm, when I'm coloring the eyes. Okay... Um, not that I changed this to like, uh, white, I... I looking at the dress again, I think I might want to change the color a bit, change, change it to like, uh, a bit... A bit of a maybe like, mm, let's see, tone it up a tiny bit. Also, welcome to Unadas Libin. I think I wanna tone it up a bit. Um, I think that's a bit too bright though. Yeah, I think I think, I think this is a bit better. What do you guys think though? Like, there's like um. This, the darker one, or the lighter one? I think the lighter one fits better, just because it, like, um... If I, if I make it too dark, the contrast is gonna be way too strong. Like, right now, uh, contrast-wise, it's already, like, decent. Like, if I do this, uh, you can see adjustments, uh, black and white. Uh, like, say, like, like so, the contrast is a bit, it's already pretty nice. But if I, but if I, um, do the darker color, like, this... Uh, hold on, I need, to, I need to like pick the new color first. Let me pick this color, just, just so I can change it back later. Um, hold on. Uh, why isn't it picked? Pick the color. Here we go, and then when I go back here... Oh, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't wanna. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's grab this color. I'll just freaking make a new picture or something, I don't know. Make it make the entire screen this color so it can keep the color. Okay, all done. Now if I... Let, let's check this. So... Before the color is changed... I think it was, I think it was this color. If we go to adjustments... And then black and white... Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit too strong. The contrast is a bit too strong. I think I, I, oh, come on! There you go. Let's get the, our color back. Yeah, there you go. Mm -mm. Yeah. Also, let's uh, use more details. Yeah, I do agree with that. Here you go. Um. Okay. 
Now, let's see. Um, cell shape. Here we go. Let's do here. Let's turn down the opacity to 150 and set the layer to multiply. Now, let's do... Let's grab this color. Oopsies. Why do you keep on like accidentally using the clone stamp? Okay, let's check this first. This color is like not really that good for the thingy. Look at this. I think that's a bit too dark. Let's turn on this color and then add a bit more saturation and turn down the value a bit. Like so. And then let's shift the hue a bit towards blue. And like so. Okay, I think, I think this color is decent for the for the hair shade color. Okay. So I'm sorry for being quiet. I'm I promise I'm trying my hardest to find a thing to talk about. <laughs> Apart from the fact that like that earlier my lights went out. That's something to talk about, but then again, like my lights went out every now and then. It's kinda like normal here. That's that's what you get for living in a rundown place. <laughs> oh, hole. sleepy. <laughs> I actually took a nap before stream, but still sleepy. Uh. Apparently a half an hour nap isn't enough. But that's just life nowadays. Oh my god, I need more sleep. that um, 
the seeds are a different color. Let me quickly change that. And how do other people shade the shade the seeds? Let me see. This different color. Let me quickly get that. Hold on. Um, let's see. Okay, so on base color, let's grab the hair color and then shift it a tiny bit towards yellow. And now let's do something like this. Here we go. Because they let us home early from the to the Holy Week. I'm mostly gonna be using the free time catching up on sleep and rest because oh bless sleep. Hell yeah. What's Holy Week though? I don't know what the Holy Week is. Is it uh Yeah, what is Holy Week? Hmm. I mean I, I I mean I wish I got like I get I get what am I called again? Um I, I get sent home from work earlier because of Holy Week. I need to know what this is and tell management about it so I can get the get the get the uh, what you call it get get the thingy get let home early. Because hell yeah. Okay. Now let's get the cell sheet. And then I'm guessing Holy Week is like a religious like holiday or like a, not a holiday, more like a religious thingy thing. Something something. A religion day or something. Okay. Holy Week is basically the run up to Easter Sunday, basically celebrating or commemorating the three days Jesus was dead and ending when Jesus rise from the dead. Oh, oh yeah, Easter is coming soon. I forgot about that. Huh. I just never really thought too much about Easter. Huh. I wonder if I, I wonder if I'll get uh, what you call again. If I'll get uh, uh, the day off on Easter. When is Easter, anyways? <laughs> holidays that I, that I keep on forgetting it existed. Like, I have like a somewhat, uh, not only like a celebration, more like a thing image. Sometimes I post certain or do certain streams during like things like, even if it's not a holiday, things like Halloween, Valentine's, stuff like that. But Easter, I feel like I should. I can keep on forgetting that Easter exists for some reason. I don't know why. I guess people just don't get super loud about it for some reason. I don't know why. Sunday on the 31st. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a Sunday, ah! <laughs> damn it, it's a Sunday! <laughs> I don't get a day off! <laughs> damn it! Okay. 
I should remember Easter exists. I guess not a lot of people talk about it in like social media, so that's why I never really notice it that much. There's no people doing. There's nobody doing it like things like Easter streams or like and like like screaming about. Easter being a racist holiday or something because because like Twitter, everything is racist for Twitter. Wait, okay, what's next? Halloween is uh freaking offensive, or no no fucking Christmas is offensive. <laughs> Twitter man, Ugh. that probably is bad for me mental health. What ways to use it? No, honestly, since since I since I uh, ever since I started just blocking everything on Twitter and uh, just following my favorite artists there, it has been like a bit better. Okay. Do you find weird that Jesus' registration was a variable date? It always ends. It always ends on uh, the last Sunday of March. So the day of, uh, of so the day of always changes each year. Oh, huh? So it's always Sunday. Maybe they're trying to align it with, like, you know, Sunday, Sunday, uh, Sunday, uh, church or stuff, stuff like that. Sunday mass. I don't really know. Hmm, that's interesting. Huh. So it's so is it always on a Sunday? Hmm. Fascinating. I actually do wonder why that is though. I need to like, I need to look that up. That sounds interesting. So is this always on a Sunday? I never noticed that. <laughs> if that if that has always been a thing, I never noticed that. Never noticed that Easter is always on a Sunday. Fascinating. Maybe it also has some sort of like, uh, like religious meaning behind it or something, as in Sunday, as in something, something. Also, maybe that's why I keep on forgetting w w about Easter. It it's a variable date, apparently. <laughs> because it's like on top like so and then this goes over here the me to send it was this is probably the reason you like you said yeah, I guess it makes sense. Like, I think I think it's kind of like you know, like I think I think the I think it, uh, the only reason Christmas is like not always on the same day is because it's like you know, like it's like a, such a special day that it's like it has it has its own day. It's like a holiday. Wait, is Easter technically a holiday? Even though it's like always on a Sunday, is it technically a holiday? I think back then it may like you know maybe maybe the reasoning is that back then it wasn't like it wasn't technically an official holiday so like they they make it make it every Sunday so that um like so that people can go to mass even if the if the if uh because it's always on a Sunday but you know like like if it if it happened like uh 
But if it became a national holiday, it might be have like a set date. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Like back then, back then the thing wasn't really like a... Uh, can be approved to be a holiday or something, so they time it to like every Sunday and it... Yeah. Is there is a holiday? Okay. Mm -mm. So the holy reasoning may not be a thing unless it's a really old thing, like you know, back in the old, old days when maybe, I don't know. Hmm. It's a holiday, but it always ends on Sunday, so it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't feel like a holiday. <laughs> The blessed years are the years where all the holidays are on the on, on like on black dates, <laughs> like uh, what you call it again? The dates that the the non non I mean the work days. Yeah, all the holidays are on like work days. It's like the that's like the 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 blessed years. And then there's the curse years where all of the holidays are on either Sunday or Saturday. <laughs> I didn't. Even, I kind of want to check Wikipedia and see if there is actually uh, there. Someone actually did. Um, what you call it again? Uh, try to find which which year is the most blessed and which year is the most cursed. Which year has the most holidays in work days and which uh, year has the least holidays in work days. <laughs> Unless you have work on Easter Sunday, meaning you would get extra pay since you'll be working on a holiday. It doesn't, it doesn't matter most of the time, yeah. <laughs> it's it's sad. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. And you won't, you know, barely anybody works on holidays anyways. Unless you work at like, like Disneyland or something, or like... McDonald's. I don't think you would work on like holidays. Or, like on, on Sundays. Actually now that I think that I think about it, what are the Sunday jobs? Like there's a few jobs that are like Sunday jobs. It's the jobs that whether you need to go to work on Sunday because it's when the it's when it's the most um there's the most people going there. Like the, there's the most people you need to um do work with. And then um you uh Monday to Friday it's not as uh you know, it's, the demand is that high. Thinking, you know, things like jobs like working on Disneyland or something, or something, I don't know. Because Sunday is when everyone goes to Disneyland, or like a movie theater. Those jobs are a lot busier on uh, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. I think a lot of like. Um, jobs in malls because people uh, visit those mostly on uh, Saturdays and Sundays like you know uh, cashiers and stuff like that and then There's quite a few. I 
and then there's the job the jobs that technically don't don't even get day offs like like doctor or something. Oh. Well, I, mean, I guess you do get day offs day, days off, but like it's like just switching shifts and stuff like that. Being a doctor is difficult. Our thing to put in is is cruel. So hey, huge respect for those uh, those who studies medicine. You need to you need to you need to put in crazy hours just to get your uh, uh like license or like you know degree medical degree, and then you need to work uh crazy hours. <laughs> People who can stomach all of that, I get a huge respect for. Oh, but I guess, you know, I guess no wonder they're paid quite a lot. <laughs> Emergency service, yeah, that's actually, yeah. Uh, makes sense. I don't know about military though, like military? What what do military people do actually? Call centers actually call centers make sense as well, yeah. Military though? What do um like uh what's it called again? I actually don't know what people do in the military, weirdly enough. <laughs> like I know there's like uh like the people do like I don't know, war lip things? I don't know, not, not every country is, is like always constantly in war, right? If a country is not in war, what do people in the military do? Like just drills and stuff like that? I wonder. I'm guessing military drills? Like keeping, keeping them in like, uh, top shape. So if uh, suddenly a war, uh, War breaks. They they are they are already ready to uh, fight and stuff like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe are they like sent to like uh, Jumakali? Much more called again, sent to countries that do have a war. Is does do that happen? I don't know. Mostly drills in general are readiness, I think. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. Though if it's just drills in general general ready, readiness, I feel like it's a bit needlessly cruel for them to not get holidays or like you know work on Sundays. Actually, no. That now they think about it, I think if I. If I'm not mistaken, like, military people just straight up live on camp, right? So I don't think they... I guess they... I'm guessing they would technically get a whole... Like, you know, get get days off, but it's like... They can't really get out or something, I don't really know. I don't really know much about fucking military stuff. Mm -mm. Hey, I actually, I actually should, should ask one of my friends who... Uh, does um, uh, have been to the military actually? Actually, I don't know if I don't know if uh, they will be able to give like a good answer though because uh, like my friends who have been in the military, they they're there because um, you know like m the military mandatory military stuff team magic, the military I don't know military conscription team magic I don't really know. Essentially, like everyone needs to serve in the military for like s like some amount of time or something like that. I don't really know. So I don't really know um, if they will give be able to give like a good answer, but I should probably ask anyways, just to see. Maybe they know, maybe they don't. They doesn't always get sent to zones to aid in relief efforts. No fighting involved unless they get attacked first. Ah, okay, that that makes sense. Like when you, which call again when, um, like, to to help other countries or something like that. It will make sense, and it will be like a uh, pretty like you know, resource efficient, I guess, 
I don't know what, you know, for the lack of a better term. Because, you know, like, uh... Like, if they don't do that, they're just gonna, like, train a bunch of people, and then uh, that's not gonna uh, ever be used in a proper, like, um... Uh... War setting, or something like that. It's a bit of a waste of resources, so I might also use them to, like, you know, help... help... other, um... countries who are actually, like, participating in those stuff. There's a job that like people don't really expect that that much to not have a holiday. I mean, if you can, if you can call it a job, if you some people don't want to call it a job, but for those who call it a job, technically content creation is like a job without a holiday as well. Like if you if you've seen some of the hours uh, top streamers put into into streaming. Holy but it's those are some those are some brutal hours. I wonder if they I hope they still like I hope they can stay stay sane doing that. Like as much as I like making uh, content, I I don't think I'll be able to like I don't think I'll be able to survive uh putting in the hours those top streamers put put in honestly. <laughs> but what other are some other uh, not so you know some stuff that you won't really expect to not have a holiday maybe. Hmm, let me think, let me think, let me think. Hmm. Okay. I get I get one. Not what not what you would traditionally call a job, but a mother. A mother is a, a job that does not have a single holiday and is also one of the one of the worst jobs someone can get. Well, worse in the sense of that, you you're putting like you're putting literally twenty four seven hours into like into the job. <laughs> mm -mm, yeah, yeah. I actually also consider it a job, but uh, you know, you know, all the people, especially the especially the older older people, usually don't like to consider it a job because they think it's just like you know just like making videos making videos and laughing the people's their asses off and stuff like that but yeah but yeah one of the hardest jobs out there i would say it's a freaking mom i think for some people it's, it won't be the hardest but for people like me oh my god i cannot uh do something like that or just a parent in general a good parent a good parent of, of, so is one of the hardest jobs someone can have being an absent parent is easy. Being a good parent is not. <laughs> and for some people, it's also a job that they need to do alongside another job. Freaking brutal. Is 24 7 always on call no sleep and the payoff isn't even guaranteed yeah <laughs> your, your, your kid can be a can be a cocaine junkie <laughs> if you don't raise them properly oh god it's it's a painful job <laughs> mm -hmm. and the mental fortitude you need you need to like you need to you need to uh, what you call again be a parent <laughs> Especially moms, goddamn. Respect to the respect to all of the successful moms out there. Cause goddamn. I can't even babysit my my nephew for like uh, for uh, three hours without losing my mind.
Like honestly, I'd rather I'd rather have a nine to five than than baby babysit. <laughs> like I'd rather, I'd rather work at McDonald's than babysit. <laughs> Future friends actually works at a daycare. I wonder how they're uh, freaking surviving that place. <laughs> they have said on a few occasions that they hate the job, though. <laughs> it's like a side gig, a very painful one. Like you know, side, side gigs are side gigs. So you do your side gigs, but holy shit, why must you pick something so so uh, brutal as a side gig? There's a reason I don't plan on having a kid. I mean, if it happens, it happens, and I'll be good to provide support, but I actually have no plan to become a parent. Thank you very much. Honestly, same. Same. Also, mostly because I honestly don't think I'll be able to- I'll be a good parent. I feel like my life is already a wreck enough, I don't want to- I don't want to throw it at, like, a kid. <laughs> and also, I don't really have much interest about, you know, I don't really have much, uh, will in, like, starting a family. I just don't think it's my thing. Mm -mm. When I get old, I wanna like even well when I get old. <laughs> when when like when I when I uh finally get there, get myself together, I want to enjoy life and not bother with like with with taking care of a mini monkey or something, I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy life. Though there is one thing that I kind of hate about not having a kid, and is that people, a lot of people will, uh, uh, what will judge you, say that you're selfish and shit, stuff like that. Ugh, you know those people. I don't know though, I don't know about now, like, I think nowadays, like, the people are, people are a bit more, like, normal. I think it's because, it's only because back then when I was young, I was raised in, like, a, like, in a, in a Catholic private school. So, like, people are there are very, like, you know, very, like, I don't know, traditional, I guess you can say. Even my friends. I remember one time, like, I remember one time, uh, like, I talk about, honestly, I really don't, I, I rather not really have a kid. They, they, they told me I'm going to hell for it. <laughs> Sheesh. I mean, I rather go, I mean, I rather go to hell than make a kid's life a living hell, but still. Okay. You can just an actual monkey if you want, it probably costs you less too. <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, honestly, the closest thing I would get to a kid is probably like, you know, probably a pet. I want, the, I want, like, well, I don't really want, but like, you know, if I, if I, if I really am lonely and if people, if people, if people pressure me too much to get a, to get a kid, I'm gonna get myself a snake and call it my kid. <laughs> I'm gonna get a pet snake and call it my 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 son or daughter or whatever I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm gonna teach it how to, I'm gonna teach it how to open doors, and then I'm gonna bring it to the family gathering. <laughs> like like like, <laughs> oh god. If I, if my, if my, uh, fucking, like, I don't know, my parents or something ask me, Hey, what, can I, can I hold your kid? I just, I just hand them over my snake. <laughs> oh, dear. 
You want a kid? You want grand get grandchildren? You get grandchildren. M malicious comp compliance at its finest. Strong the color is. Uh, I can change later. Okay. But yeah, TLDR though, nothing wrong with getting a kid. It's just definitely not my thing. And don't. And only shitty people judge me for it. I get to do whatever I want. As long as it's not like a shitty thing to do. Like me, me, me not having a kid does not affect your life in any way. Therefore, you should shut up. <laughs> hey, those kids, kinds of those kinds of expectations and those traditional traditionalist place on people. So if so, what if I don't want it to kill? You don't get to decide that for me. Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm. It's it's my life, and I make my decisions. It is funny how like, like one of their argument is usually like, uh, you know, like I'm selfish for not wanting a kid. But then the 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 other most popular argument is like, who's gonna take care of you when you're when you're old? I think having the kid for that reason is like, um, that, I think that is a much more selfish reason to have a kid, to have someone to take care of you when you're old. Honestly, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm old, but I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not really planning on getting that old anyways. They're actually having a child and what other people suffer too, probably. <laughs> Yeah, kids are a pain. Mm -mm. Okay. I want a stress free life where I can just collect minifigs and dice. <laughs> You see, you see. If I have, if I have, a, if I have a kid, I won't be able to. If I won't be able to collect uh, dice, they're gonna like play around with it and like somehow get into my dice storage and throw everything everywhere, and probably like lose some of them. Oh god. Oh god. How this went from like, you know, thinking of like difficult jobs and turning into a rant about kids. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Try and eat one. Probably die from your favorite set too. Yeah. Uh, pain. Big pain. Mm -mm. If they, if like, here's the thing. If they choke, then then you know, like, it's it's a it's a natural thing. I guess I guess it happens every now and then. But if they choke on my favorite dice set of dice, it's just it's just like it's just it's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Blip, 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 blip. I'm going to invest in like so many locks if I have a kid. 
I need to lock the. I need to lock my room. Lock my cookie jar. Lock. Lock the stairs. Holy but That's something that 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 a lot of people forget to do when they have a kid. They forget to lock the stairs and bolt down the TV. Yeah, remember to bolt down your TV if you have a kid, by the way. Like, best case scenario, they just they, they just accidentally smash it. Worst case scenario, they can actually like get 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 uh, crushed by the TV. I don't know how bad it is now with like you know what with newer TVs, newer LED TVs. But back then, when with CRT TVs, holy but was rough. But yeah, with the sound of me, with the sound of music, hell yeah, with the sound of Uzi. <laughs> Oh, so they even, uh, uh, with Show Mimi, or like, uh, what you call it again? Oh, I forgot your other name. But how's they been? Welcome. Show, yeah, there you go. How's they been? This is national section. They're all not one. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> but uh, their, 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 their con modifier is too low to survive it, anyways. <laughs> mm, but we're remembering. Alright. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're just currently, currently, um, currently drawing a bit. Uh, this is this, this is currently what we have. We're currently still we're still working on it. The hills are alive, Nanoda. <laughs> we're currently shading it. Mm -mm. Okay. Go. We were talking a bit and ranting a bit about kids. Or just having kids in general, because it's pain. <laughs> I would love to get like a perspective from like someone who would want to have a kid though. That's not a crazy um uh traditionalist that will just tell me to go to hell <laughs> because that's their argument. I just want to have like a simple intellectual argument with someone with that has a proper brain, proper functioning brain. But you don't get people like those nowadays. Like even my brain is only half functioning. I have a permanent disadvantage all, on, all, on all of my checks involving intelligence. So I'm only effective half of the time. But really, it really feels like 10% of the time. There's anything I miss. Okay, there's there's supposed to be a shadow under the under the collar here, so let's do that. Oh, let's do this first though. Just so we can just do all the the dark green ones together. And the gun. We need to we need to we need to shade the gun. Uh 
Okay, is this color alright? Um, maybe a bit too bright, but let me see first. Okay... Um, does it look alright? I think the color is a bit too, a bit too saturated, I need to change that later. But for now, I think the, the position of the shadow, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. Alright, I'll fully shade it first before I'll, before I change the color. Do this and change the color a bit, and like something like this, probably. Yeah, this is a bit better. Okay, let me take a sip. Must be some sort of fake or some status effect when your intelligence checks can't roll above a 10 unless you roll a natural 20. <laughs> probably, I don't know. Uh, I knew I should have talked to those elves. It's always elves. Uh, those damn pointy eat leaf lovers. Those fairies, I swear. There's a reason I hate fairies. <laughs> fairies is the bane of my existence. They stole my balls. Okay. fun to shade but how I'm I don't know how I'm gonna shade this actually let me look at my references um how did the others shade their skirts let's see 
Um, okay. I'm gonna like do one big line. Where is the I use background. I have no idea, honestly. Probably, I'm pro not gonna do anything complicated though, but I do want to think of something that will um, be like not just my usual, you know, like, um, you know how the usual shadow team magic idea I do for my background, that thing? I want I want something different, but I don't know what. I can't, I can't really come up with anything. Don't have any creative juices. Hmm. Like there are a few things that people usually go for, you know. Like you know, uh, I think I think there's what like a while ago I saw this uh, artist who doesn't know how to draw backgrounds alignment chart and like the different things they do. <laughs> Like, there, there's people who draw, like, you know, draw just, like, keep it at a blank canvas, the void, the white void. And then there's people who, um, just have a solid color. There's people who d do a s color square. There's people who do patterns, like, you know, lines, uh, circles, stuff like that. Actually, circles will be, will be nice. Don't really do that that often. I don't really know how I'm gonna do that, though. There's some shapes. Yeah, actually, look at my look at the the references that I use. All of the artists, all of the my references the, are from artists who also don't draw backgrounds. <laughs> we got like voids. We got like a background that's just like a line on the background, and then we get like a square, and then a blob. <laughs> Maybe I'll try a few different backgrounds and see which one looks good. There's also like one like very chaotic neutral like uh what's it called again? The chaotic neutral thing that artists do and it's like random patterns. <laughs> but then there's also chaotic evil with this which is just the background is memes. They just they just screenshot a meme and put it in the background. I never seen an artist that does that, <laughs> actually. But I kinda wish I have. That, that, that is dope as hell. But I could do that. I, c I can try like, you know, the, the the pattern. Or like the picture on the background. I think that will be interesting. I'm in the runway, like... What supermodels walk down during fashion shows, like bullet cop shearing, taking photos, could just do green and top and green and ta take, taking photos. You could just do green hills under a clear blue sky, guys. Green hills under a clear, under a clear blue sky with um also hey well thank you GT for like the three month membership. And also Mr. Legas Daybin, welcome. Mm -mm. And uh, like I think I think the, I think the best one would be like the green the green hills actually I think that will make the most sense as well for like for the picture but yeah I'm sleeping I'm a little cheesy cheese to meet you mm -mm. the boss pick I sent you <laughs> oh god mm, yes just just that just that as the background of course <laughs> mm -mm. I think I think I think. Heels that are alive will be the, with the will, will be the which one will be the uh, most fitting one. Mm -mm. Yeah, we'll just finish cleaning. Good, good. You better clean. <laughs> Make sure remember to clean your uh your room or at least your like your bed. Mm -mm. Change the bed sheets ev at least every month, or for probably every like every one or two weeks. Actually, no, not every week. I think that's a bit too much. Maybe like every like yeah I think I think every month is the every month is the is the uh, best amount of time to like change your bed sheets. It's also personally what I do. Mm -mm. Clean up uh, the your living space and clean yourself up. Remember that as well. Personal hygiene is important. Like remember to uh, clip uh, some your nails if you haven't yet. You don't need to clip it like super short, like those, like in those, uh, 
like in those like the rules in those private schools but you know clip the parts where it looks like it's it's gathering um uh oh my what's this gathering uh what you call called again uh dirt also i just realized hmm, this is weird i hope this is okay like, i just noticed on my like i was looking at my nails while i was doing that and on my pinky finger on the base of the nail, there's like some white stuff out there. I hope that I hope, I hope that's uh that's not dead skin or something like that. Mm -mm. But yeah, usually hands aren't really that much of a problem, but mostly the problem is like legs. Legs do get up do, does quite a bit sometimes. Well, like not like dirt quite a bit, especially if you go barefoot quite a lot. Mm -mm. Like if you see like uh, which one? if if the nails on your foot actually let me check my nails I, I think I haven't clipped my clipped my um uh, it's in the nail the white thing you check I think I haven't clipped my toenails in like a in like a like two three weeks four weeks I think even a month let me check that hmm it's pretty it's pretty clean but the the nails on the thumb is actually pretty like you know it's it's starting to get dirty like when you when you look at a uh, I really want to show this, but like I don't think I want to show this as well. Like what you call again? Because I don't want to show my feet on stream. But essentially, like uh, you can usually see, like you know, my the, the, the my the nail on my thumb, on my toe, um, the edges, the front edges have like this uh, like grayish uh thing magic. I think it's like. I think it's like uh, it's because the nail is kind of damaged from when when I kick things, uh, and the edge is like somewhat yellowing. I don't need to clip it soon. I should clip it like I'll clip it after stream. Mm -mm. I just have feet pics, mm, yes. <laughs> but yeah, mm -mm. but that's that's mostly because I haven't clipped my uh, toenails in a month. Mm -mm. Yeah, you don't need to clip it until it's like. like like, uh, there's no white parts left. Uh, just clip the parts that are starting to get dirty. That's usually what I do. Because honestly, living without nails is painful. One time I forgot to trim my fingernails. One weekend didn't notice till the middle of the week. My fingers still feel, felt really heavy for some reason. Felt really uncomfortable. Wait, does it actually feel heavier? I don't think nails should like um uh, like you know feel heavy when you like don't clip them huh that's swack mm -mm. but yeah i don't see you have like one of those really big uh, fingernails and hey for, for 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 the fellows out there who's like rocking the long ass fingernails good luck those things are very high maintenance. <laughs> Respect for people who have the patience to up, to do upkeep on like super long nails. I personally can't because like because I type a lot. A lot of a lot of the things that I do involve my fingers, so I can't really keep long nails. And plus, it's just you know it's just a bit difficult to do things with long nails. She'll stop biting my nails. Yeah. I think it's a, a bit of a bad habit. <laughs> it makes your nails like dirty and stuff like that, and like... Because when you bite your nails, the nails became like very uneven. A lot of dirt can get caught in your nails uh, a lot easier. So, so yeah. Mm -mm. It's a thing that a lot of people do. I used to do th that as well, but you know. Uh, I think it's a good habit that you... If you can stop the habit, that'll be good. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, that's for, personally that's for me. Personally, that it's like I know when to trim when it's getting like it's either a uh, um, starting to make me feel uncomfortable, like, you know, it's starting it's starting to be to become difficult to type, or b it's visibly dirty. That's when I trim my nails. Other than that, no, I don't trim my nails because like because I'm lazy. <laughs> if it's if it's not a uh, if uh, if it's not bothering me or if it's not visibly dirty, I don't trim it. <laughs> This thing, it grows very, very slowly. Huh. And I, I had a hard time opening a can of lip and with cut nails. That's a little cut nails though. Yeah. I do also personally also like when I cut my nails, I usually only trim the dirty parts. I don't really, uh, and like, you know, the parts that doesn't look good. Because I still do still need my nails to open things like, you know, cans. And then, and then like, uh, 
and then like pry things open. Nails are useful, okay? Mm -mm. Living without nails is painful. It's gonna get. It, it feels like getting declawed. You can't do stuff. The best, the best nail is like not too long, not too short. Probably like, you know around like. Oh, like currently my the like the length of my nails is like the perfect length. Let me just check. Oh, it's been a while since I trimmed them. It's like uh like around three, four, four millimeters long. But maybe like three, two, two millimeters. Like you know, not the white part being having around like. Yeah, four, four millimeters. I currently have like four millimeters of the white part, but uh, I think like three, two, three millimeters of the white part is the best because you can. It doesn't bother you when you're like doing things that require a lot of finger dexterity, like the typing. It doesn't bother that much, and and you can still do things like scratch your back or uh, pry open things. I think this is the perfect length, at least for me. For other people, maybe different. I mean, it was three months ago. Oh my. Oh, I mean, I guess if it grows slowly, then I guess that that's fair as well. I don't know if my na nail growth is like considered fast or slow, I don't know. Oh, if, if your nail gl grows slowly though, it actually, it's actually kinda of difficult to like cut it kinda of when it's dirty because it because uh here's the thing, short nails, like really short nails, the nails that are like you know, doesn't even have the white part, it still it still gets dirty. So it's hmm, yeah, I did you mention it. Slow growing nails can be a bit more difficult to clean because you can't just like you can't always just trim them off. Hmm. Can open some stuff because my nails are short. Rip. <laughs> Big rip. Nails are just clean though. It took a lot of quick stuff to get rid of the smell for me. Oh, the nail smell? Hmm. Mine doesn't really smell that much, but I guess it's because I scrub very intensely sometimes. What about my legs? Hold on. No, my, nail, my legs doesn't really smell either. Even like even the part with the dirty nail. Hold on. Why am I smelling my nail? Why am I smelling my feet on stream? But like whatever. <laughs> I mean honestly, honestly, thank God I'm not a face cam streamer. If if I'm also a face cam streamer, you will, you will have seen me sniff my sniff my feet <laughs> earlier. <laughs> but no, like seriously, like my my feet is sometimes a. Uh, uh, smelly, but it's only when I'm when I get really really sweaty. Like you know when I either like you know when I get really sweaty on the day, like you know for example I've 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 been traveling a lot, or or like walking a lot, uh, or you know maybe it's leg day or something or gym day, or when I have been walking in the rain and I didn't uh, uh dry my feet for a while. This, that happens sometimes. Like it's it's raining when it I I was going to work but then it suddenly rains so like body is a bit wet. But like, you know, I kind of like, I didn't, uh, I don't want to take off my shoes like that, so I just kept it on. And like, when I, when I get home, usually feet smells, feet smelly. Because, because, you know, water is the perfect place to grow bacteria. Mm -mm. You yeah, need pictures of that, oh god. <laughs> Intrusive thoughts one, yeah. <laughs> I had to check, okay, I had to check. Mm -mm. I had to check. Yeah, I, I think I think you can try. Maybe you, you can try some uh, more, uh, ho some harder soap. My the soap that I use is pretty like is pretty um uh strong. So like so, it it doesn't leave a smell. After I shower, and I guess uh, I guess one time is you know one reason is 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 also because I shower a lot. I shower at least twice, sometimes thrice a day. And with like very strong soap, and I scrub very intensely. Like after I get off the shower, and till till now actually, my 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 skin is still very very like you know wrinkly and stuff like that because I scrub very uh, very um intensely. But that's maybe that may be the reason why like why my nails and my like and my feet doesn't really smell. I think I think uh, I think uh, having like a little bit of smell in your like. Nails or feet is like somewhat normal. Where is the topic since I joined talking about nails and feet? Mm, yes. Don't worry, I like eating feet. Stewed for food and rice. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> mm. 
Imagine if there's like uh, what's my leg recognition and my and my model has like has a uh, can can lift up the feet. <laughs> One day when we got feet recognition on on uh, camera, we get face recognition, hand recognition. All we need is now feet recognition, so I can I can pull my feet up and and, <laughs> and it's gonna be visible on stream. <laughs> In model, mm, yes. Also, go here. What, is, what does nose run and feet smell? Hmm, I don't know. Isn't this the other way around? <laughs> I mean, you do have a point. <laughs> Poor Crotter. Crotter still feet. Mm, yes. Poor feet. I mean, I do enjoy that as well. Like, you know, like the the like the. The pig feet. Usually, no, wait, not pig feet. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Pretty nice. Usually get those in dim sum. Not, not what I would order first time though. I think it's nice, but it's not as good as like other dim sum stuff. Okay. Go. I need to try, to try a poor feet though, poor trotter or something. I don't think I ever tried that. Where do you get those? It sounds like something you would find in a dim sum, but like I don't think I ever see that. I don't really know. <coughs> I think I've ever seen that. Also, before I continue, I'll be right back because I need to use the bar room real quick. So yeah, I'm gonna use the bar room. Be right back. Bloop. Hey Han, if you drink two five-hour energies, do you get ten hours? Runa, that thing is for organic life forms. Will you get ten hours then? That's not how those things work. But what if you drink one and then five hours later you drink another one? Runa, please. Those aren't batteries. Organic life forms are very fragile. They break when you insult them wrong. You can even change them back to buy and get infinite energy. <sighs> I wanna drink bleach. Mix them up with some five-hour energies. Runa, god damn it. I'm buying five. If I caught you sneaking that vile substance into my chalky milk, I'm dismantling you. I shall be a noble sacrifice in the name of science. <sighs> sure. Free sample, trailer cookies. Ooh, free sample? Yep. Don't mind if I do. These are fresh out cookies made using the finest of- Mind if I get another one? Uh, sure. Thank you. These are fresh out cookies made using the finest- Mind if I get another one? Sir, I don't think I'm allowed to- Thank you. Sir, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need to tell you to- Iruna, I heard you want some mushrooms. Let's go get some. <sighs> free samples, try up our cookies. Ooh, free sample? Haha, uh -huh, real funny. Wow, rude. What the hell are the mushrooms? Probably in the mushroom section. They have an entire section to sell mushrooms? <sighs> I hate this job. Alright, I'm back! Uh, hold on. Let me turn up the music again. There you go. And yeah, any special any specialized steel work like shop has it? Well I don't know if it has it, but most don't show in the menu. Ah. Huh, I need to give it a shot then. And yeah, average day of ongoing shopping. Mm, yes. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay. I shall compile all of the all of the shopping thing magic and turn into movie. Maybe when we reach episode 60, I'm gonna make a one hour special. Even though there's already technically a one hour special with the banana one. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. There you go. It's been a while since I've went physical shopping though. At least in the supermarket. My eyes are itchy. Um okay. I do enjoy myself some pork though. Pork is nice. Tomatoes can be quite expensive sometimes. <laughs> can be a bit expensive. The cheap the cheapest meat is either like chicken or fish. But it's also like the least uh, tasty in my opinion. Chicken is like, chicken is uh, alright, it's like standard, but it's nothing, nothing to like, not, the, not something that you will, you will, you know, it's not something mouth watering. And for fish, only some fish are like this, is, are very, very um, tasty, so I are like this, uh, it's alright. Some of them are even like, you know, I can't eat this because they're like, depending on how they're cooked. Some of them I really don't like for fish. I think the only cheap uh, fish that I find delicious is like sardines and mackerels. Mm -mm. Yeah. Like fish and chips, the fish part, honestly, in my opinion, like for me, for me personally, it's not, it's like alright, but it's not like mud wateringly good, you know? Like when I, when I see it, I'm not like, oh my god, I want that. It's like, yeah, okay, okay, fine, yeah, it's, it's that, you know? <laughs> okay, it's fish and chips, I think, I think it's, it's a good meal, but like, it's nothing, it's nothing to, it's nothing amazing. Mm -mm. But that's just for me. <laughs> No, why though? A lot of uh, a lot of my friends enjoy fish a lot. Fish kind of depend on how you cook it. Yeah. But even grilled fish, I don't always like. Like steamed fish, especially is uh, uh, cannot eat steamed fish. Steamed fish is very uh, meh. I, th I think I think the the I think like I don't know why, but like. My favorite type of fish is preserved. <laughs> like, you know, canned fish and stuff like that. I find those the most delicious. Just just heat them up a bit, put them in the microwave, and then blam, you get good fish. Mm -mm. Bunny chow. I haven't tried it before. Hmm. Fish and sushi is nice though, like salmon, especially those those really fresh ones. Maybe maybe that's how I like fish. I know that now I think about it. Most of the fish that I enjoy is like from like like really fresh, technically like not that process. Well, <laughs> well, can uh, can at least are, are pretty processed, but. I mean, at, at, in the sense that it's not really like, you know, grilled or like, um, steam or stuff like that. It's just canned. How many fish eat these days of canned sardines? Canned tuna and cheap supermarket sushi. Miss the fish chips shop they used to have at the mall. Oh, yeah, did they, did they close? Rip. But honestly, for me, yeah, same as well. Mostly because I don't really like fish fish. Like, you know, get, getting an, an entire fish and then, um steaming them or like grilling them or stuff like that. I just don't like it. I don't know why. It just it doesn't taste, really taste that good. Oh, all grilled fish. I'm gonna make my butt in sweat of agony by hidden cartilage. Ca cartilage. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Like I, I know some people don't really like the like the raw taste of like sushi. But I personally enjoy it. Mm-mm. Oh, speaking of that though, like, a lot of, a lot of people uh, do, like, whatchamukai, like, like, 
do question me a tiny bit. It's not in the not in the bad way, like just in the like uh, why way, you know, like um, because I really like when I eat a can uh, can satay and stuff like that. I really I really like to keep them like uh, smelly. I guess you can say. At least that's what my friends call it. Like um, because when my friends like do like make make things like. Uh, uh, prepare things like canned sardines, they usually like put things like uh, ginger, ginger for example on it uh, to uh, get rid of the smell, the very strong smell. But personally, I hate that. I really don't like it. And uh, and also because I don't, really don't like uh, taking a bite at ginger when I'm eating my sardines. For me, uh, like, um, I like to keep it like, keep it uh, raw and fishy in terms of taste. But apparently a lot of my friends don't like it because it makes it makes it smell really bad. Mm -hmm. I do you think the smell adds to the flavor. Flavor is uh you know mostly smell and uh, uh, smell as well. So if you get rid of the fishy smell of the fish, it's not fish anymore. <laughs> Run fishy. <laughs> oh god. We're describing fish, goddammit. <laughs> of course we're gonna use raw and fishy as as describers <laughs> for fish. What how about muscle muscles? I'm not sure. I don't really eat muscles that much, so I can't really um say much. I'm guessing you meant muscles as in like the fish muscles. Enjoy seafood though. Like one seafood that I particularly love are clams. Clams are nice. One that I'm not a super big fan of though, I would say prawns, shrimp. Because they don't really they, they taste alright. They don't taste like anything special, but they are painful to prepare. Like holy but it's they're either like, you know, either you prepare them well and not have to uh, to do too much work while eating or you don't prepare them well and uh, do a lot of work while you're eating or you eat them with the skin and that's not, that does not taste good. I really don't like uh, shrimp. Well, it's, they taste alright, like, you know, I'm, I'm alright with eating them but but if I'm eating shrimp, I'm eating them in like a, in a diner or a res restaurant because I am not preparing them myself. They're painful to prepare. I still have not know that sushi is both fresh and saltwater fish. Both? Like both at the same time? I think it's both, but like, you know, yeah, there's some like, some freshwater fish and some saltwater fish. I'm pretty sure. I won't know much though, because I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I can't distinguish between like, freshwater and saltwater fish. Apart from the fact that they live in either freshwater or saltwater. <laughs> Oh, salmon. Oh, salmon is both? Salt water and fresh water? Like, they can live in both, I'm guessing? Shrimp and pasta or pizza is amazing, though? Huh. For me, I think it's alright. Though, I don't think it fits that well. I personally don't really like seafood pizza, I don't know. I don't... I'm not... I'm not... Personally, not a seafood pizza person. But I don't think seafood pizza is bad. I think it's neat, though. It's like an... Uh, it's alright. It's something that I will eat, but I won't order. Kind of like pineapple, uh, pineapple pizza. It's something I I would still eat it. I just won't order. I won't ever order it myself. You know. And things like chocolate pizza and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Diff. Wait, what does diff mean? Oh, diff. Yeah, it's okay. English is not everyone's first language, and you know, like, um, 
what's what matters it is English is nothing like you know grammar and shit like that. It's whether you can convey information or not. And yeah, I'm, I'm in my opinion, you can convey information pretty well, and that's what really matters in language. Unless unless you you're gonna be like a copywriter or something or like a like um you know you you do like high level English stuff like that you honestly really don't need all the all the uh, bells and whistles when it comes to like uh, learning English things like grammar honestly like uh if your purpose is to just convey information all you need to know is like some basic vocabulary like you know like for example you want to order sushi in English but you can't like um um. You can just like come uh, up and say sushi buy want this and then point at the menu. That's already that's already understandable. People can people can understand that and that's what matters. And then like and then when you're done, just say just say like uh uh how much or like you can even just like you know you can even not speak. You can just like show your wallet and then point to your to your wallet or something. Put up your wallet, point to it, and then like they will like. They will put the number on the calculator and then show it to you and then you can just like, you know, numbers, mm, yes. Oh, definitely. Ah, okay. Autocorrect. Mm, yes. <laughs> hmm. Salmon hatch in rivers and head on to the ocean and then return to the rivers they came from to spawn. Those fits of bears hunting salmon, that's where they're from. The salmon run. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Today we learned something new. What I learned something new. I think some of, I think most of you already know about it, I'm guessing. Huh. Uh, too, I don't know too much about salmon. Uh, but interesting. Fresh and salt water. Wait, so if I like if I um so Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I was about to ask a stupid question. I was gonna ask like, wait, so adult salmon can also like be in fresh water? But then I realized, yeah, they can. <laughs> Is one if the very, one of the very few fish that went metamorphosis, that went metamorphosis. Wait, salmon went, salmon goes through metamorphosis? Huh, wait, what metamorphosis? Like, egg to fish does not count as a metamorphosis, right? Metamorphosis is, kind of, is like when something goes into like multiple, like, different, like drastically different states, changes. Like something like from tadpole to frog, very different. Or is it, I don't know, is it like a different thing? What kind of meta metamorphosis does it even go through actually? Like, is it... I don't know. What does baby salmon look like, actually? <laughs> they just like butterfly, kind of. Yeah, but you know, when you think of like metamorphosis, um, you think of like, you know, caterpillar to cocoon to butterfly. Those are like three very distinct stages. Are there actually like metamorphoses that are like, uh... You know, I'm guessing like when because you say it's one of the only fish that metamorphoses and undergo metamorphosis. I'm guessing like normal, the usual fish does not like you know as in like, uh, like let's say goldfish they go from egg to fish and then that's pretty much it. Or like humans they go from like a small bald monkey to big bald monkey. But salmon do they actually? Go through a drastic chance change, or is it just the the whole salt water, uh, fresh water thing? Magic. Salmon practically mute when they spawn. L look up picture of a regular salmon compared to a salmon order ready to spawn. They look like two different fish. Huh, let me see that actually. Uh, I'm I'm curious now. Let me check it out. Uh, salmon uh, growth stages. Let's see. Hmm. Oh wow. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that is very different. Huh. So they 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 get like they they're like a tiny fish with a with a with a pouch under it or something. And when like oh, that's so different. They the colors are different. The the 
the shape is different and then the way an adult salmon and a spawning salmon is looks very different as well huh hold on let me oh wow let me look at more pictures hold on I'm looking at more pictures huh yeah I thought they I thought they're not really you know, I, I thought they just look somewhat similar when they when they um, grow but no they they look very different they like they're like an entirely different fish yeah huh I mean out of all streams I did not expect uh, an art stream to be the stream where I learn about salmon <laughs> but okay <laughs> it's gonna be it's it's a salmon educational stream now. Sam education, something I don't know. Mm, yes. Huh. Today we learn about this life cycle of a salmon. I don't know what I'm gonna use this information for, but it's certainly interesting information. Now I can. Now, now I can. Now I can, now I can, what you call it again? Be the people in trivia night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out all the salmon facts. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna defeat everyone in trivia night by just pulling out 50 million salmon facts. I guess yeah. Like in the end, TLDR, I like I like uh, somewhat less, you know, somewhat more raw fish, raw rawish fish. I do enjoy like you know those tuna rice balls as well. Those are very nice. Those grilled tuna rice balls. Mm, yes. like an entire tuna then again I don't think I can it's like that thing is huge I don't think so mm -mm. maybe one day when, when I when I have like you know have a bit more money to spare I should go to, the, to a butcher and try to like try to get some like more ex like you know not like exotic more like you know some more it's like some of, some cuts that I don't usually uh, get Actually, am I just showing the life cycle of salmon fishing? Any maybe a fight fish? <laughs> they literally make an O face and they to the river to spawn and cut into a realistic pick of the salmon. Huh. Huh. I need to see that. <laughs> that sounds dope. Mm -mm. Oh, and fish eggs are also nice. Speaking of eating fish, fish eggs are also nice. I think I just don't really like uh, cook fish too much. Maybe I know. Maybe it's just not my thing.
I like him a bit more on the raw side. It's the most what and swimming part of the sushi. It's like the most expensive part? Oh my. Oh dear. I'm gonna need to, gonna need to spend a lot of money if I want to try that. <laughs> one day, one day, I'm gonna do a, do a fundraiser. Get me get me some, I don't know, caviar! Ah, yes! <laughs> I wonder if caviar is even worth it. <laughs> I got a feeling caviar is just gonna taste like, uh, taste like, uh, the usual fish, fish eggs. Uh, you know, a bit salty, briny, with some a bit of umami, maybe. I have a feeling caviar is just gonna taste like that. <laughs> hmm, so far as you've seen, uh -huh. you haven't tried one as well. I mean, because really, if it's if it's expensive, then probably. Mm -mm. It is. is it? Oh, if you're talking about caviar, then yeah, it's very expensive. Like holy butt, I don't think I'll ever. Uh, uh. Buy myself caviar unless, unless, unless I can, you know, unless someone's paying for it. <laughs> hey, if, if there's any caviar company uh, out there that wants to sponsor me for some weird reason, do, do, please. <laughs> All right, it's good and juicy, but ever kanpachi? Kanpachi, what's that? Mm -mm. I'm guessing it's also fish eggs. Yeah. I'm guessing it's on like kind of like just like kind of like fish eggs. I don't think it sh will be like that special. Mm -mm. Like you can only go get so unique with the taste of uh, fish eggs. I don't know what kind of budget is, but um, but hey. Kanpachi is, uh, is uh, one of the white meat fish, not to be confused with hamachi. When I use hamachi, the first thing I think about is like lock me in hamachi. <laughs> what? On um, the white meat fish? One of the white meat fish? Like is it a white fish? Like white fish eggs I'm guessing? Is it the eggs? Eggs of white fish? I don't know. I know those are a thing. I don't know if I tried it though. Like white, what, uh, the eggs of whitefish, whitefish row or something. Ah. So the, yeah, just uh, I'm guessing like white fish in general. Wait, the the fish itself or the eggs? I'm guessing the eggs because we're talking about like fish eggs. Okay, white fish eggs, yeah. I don't. I know they're. I know they're really common. I'm not sure if I've eaten one, because I when when I like when I eat fish eggs on like you know sushi stores, I don't pay too much attention to what what fish eggs they're using. Oh, the meat. Okay. Oh, that's what we're talking about. I know I eat quite a lot of like white fish, but I don't particularly like it. I just eat because like like you know um. What do we call again? Me and my a lot of my friends and family, uh, Chinese people, eat a lot of white fish. Like steamed white fish. Not a big fan, honestly. But that's just me. I don't like steamed fish, I don't know why. Steamed fish is not my thing. I never grilled gift I never gifted fish eggs. Gave gift fish eggs? Or got or grilled? I think oh tried. Oh wait, seriously? They're, I thought they were very common, like, you know, especially in things like sushi, for example. Sushi, or like... I mean, honestly, sushi is the one, well, the only things I eat fish eggs on. But then, the, but the, there's occasionally, you know, occasionally, occasionally I get it on like, on its own and put it on the rice. But honestly, mostly, just eat, I just eat it with sushi. <laughs> There's that, cause there's not a lot of like there's not a lot of um the dishes that I know that use fish eggs that much. I guess I guess it's fair that if you haven't tried fish eggs if you don't eat sushi that much.
And this technically you can also just eat them as is, but I don't like doing that. It's not filling at all, and it can be quite salty sometimes. Eating, eating them on on its own. This as well. Oh, to this. There you go. The best eggs is giant catfish eggs. If cooked right though, much better than salmon eggs. I never tried that. Hmm. Giant catfish eggs. Never tried those. Does it taste like somewhat similar, or does it taste like drastically different from like from uh like uh, other fish eggs? If it tastes like somewhat similar, I can kind of imagine how it's gonna taste like though. It's gonna, it's definitely gonna be much, much juicier since it's, it's bigger and has more water in it. Parts of the fish can you eat actually? Like, there are some p weird parts of the fish that people sometimes like to eat. Like, oh, I, I, I remember, like, s there, there's like people who actually enjoy like eating fish sperm. I don't think I'm gonna eat it, but like, I don't think I'm ever gonna try it because, uh, like, thinking about it makes me like, makes me shiver. But like, huh, apparently it's like people enjoy those. And then there's also like, I mean, I don't know if it's actually a thing, but like fish eyes are also a thing. I personally do like fish eyes, but I, I don't really, you know, it's not, it's only something that, it, here's the thing, like, here's the thing. Um, when, when my friends or family like get steamed fish, I usually don't enjoy the fish itself, but I do enjoy eating the eyes out. Juicier, greasier, and chewier. Neat. Mm -mm. But yeah. For things like whitefish, I don't think there's any like very specific parts of the fish that's like interesting because usually people just eat the whole fish. I don't know. I think for bigger fish though, there are like more interesting ones. For bigger fish, like there's parts that people eat and don't eat. Fish from it. It's not too different than minced raw tuna sushi, but that's just one I've eaten. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I guess if, if it's like that, then then I'm guessing it shouldn't really taste that bad. I guess it's just the, just the thought that, that makes it feel like, uh, like you know, when you think about it, it's like, uh, you know? <laughs> like it makes you shiver thinking about it. Get normal people who eat the fish, then you get hun eating the fish eye. <laughs> is it? Is this not? Is it's not? It's not that weird, is it? It's like it's definitely one of the more unusual parts of the fish. But then, like, but it's not like that unusual. I know, like, you know, uh, I know, like, when people eat entire, you know, white fishes, they're usually pretty small, so they eat the entire fish. There's, there's always the one person who like scoops the eye out and eats them. I personally, I personally do enjoy like the eating the eyes out just because it kind of looks nice. I mean, not looks nice, but not like, like it, it tastes a bit nicer, and I don't know why. It's usually a lot more flavorful than like the meat itself, especially with steam. Steam white whitefish, the meat is so uh, bland. I don't like it. I usually enjoy either like eating the eating the like the parts like uh. The ice and the water more. Oh, usually there's people eating eat the lamb's brains. Ooh. 
Are lamps, lamp brains? Are lamp brains okay? I know some brains uh, humans can't eat because like because prion disease. I hope lamp brains are like alright. Some I taste good though. Mm -mm. I haven't tried it myself, but I do want to try it. But eyes are pretty good. They are pretty greasy, greasy. I like it, especially on grilled fish. Oh, like if I when I when I when there's like you know white fish that I don't really like. Uh, but, you know, but they let me eat ice. Oh my god, it's so nice. They're usually so flavorful. I don't know, I guess they catch a lot of flavor. Mm -mm. Cow brains taste metallic, kinda. Hmm. I never tried brains before. But I know brains are like a bit difficult to eat because like... I know there are some brains that are not really that safe to eat. Like things like monkey brain is a delicacy, but it's like not really that safe to eat because prion disease. Or mad cow disease, depending on what which one you what you refer refer to it as. The herb, uh, don't like it. Okay, fair enough. Mm -mm. I think fish eyes when I was younger. Love eating them. I haven't had them in recent memory. I wonder if I try eating fish eyes now, I will still like them. Maybe I don't know. Mm -mm. Give it a shot. Nowadays, I'm just, I also haven't eaten it in a while, just because I, I don't really, you know, I don't really uh, eat together anymore. Like it was mine, like the communal eating thing, magics. Eat with other people that much anymore. And you know, the fish is usually like those those whole fishes are usually something that you get in like uh, either like big meetings, parties, or like uh, receptions. And I don't really go to those anymore. So it's been a while since I tried, um, uh, since I've eaten fish eyes as well. Mm -mm. Okay, what's my water bottle? Here you go. Mm. Alright. Okay, let me... Check this. Okay. Now that's like the soft sheet, um, and then let's do soft sheet now. Boop. Um, I'm gonna start with the body actually because like the hair I'm gonna I usually do last because I I'm lazy. <laughs> um. Do you know cheese technically has eyes? Like the holes? I'm guessing! The cheese, the air the air holes, the bacteria fart. Soft shade. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. The funny song, yeah, welcome to Olin Gosleben. I'm guessing you're talking about the the also this is the second time Duolingo has came into my stream. Oh god. But yeah, I'm guessing talking about the 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 air holes in, in cheese and some cheeses cheeses. Mm -mm. Yeah, I get I get nine eyes, hell yeah. I can see all things. I'm I'm a, I'm biblically accurate, hun. It's just me with cheese. Okay. Let's see. Cheese holes, yeah. The best holes. You know what they say, if there's a hole, there's a way. Oh, that's the wrong layer. Oh no, it's not the wrong layer, I just, I just... Didn't change this, do this properly. There you go. So, I provision to close the door. Right. Okay. And it was inside the dual dingo stream. <laughs> don't think I'm gonna do it though. Because I just don't have the don't have the eh, I don't really like learning languages anymore. It's alright, it's fun for the first few uh, weeks, but like it's gonna get gets boring. Even though it's like a very good skill to have. If you can, if you can stomach it though, hey, do learn languages. It's uh, one of the best skills you can learn. 
Though I don't know about using using Duolingo. In my opinion, the best way to learn languages is actually to speak to people. But that's just me. You make sure you're listening to Spanish lessons. Mm, yes. People is like the best way to learn a language, but it's also like something that's like not all people can have have access to, unfortunately. So you know, it also helps you from like you know helps you from like not having your language skills decay because like if you if you don't speak a language for a long while, eventually it's gonna de decay and like you know you're not be able to like you you won't be able, be able to speak it ever again. Well, not ever again, but like you know it's, you're gonna have difficulty picking it back up again. Chile con cueso es bueno. Very good, good. Mm, yes. <laughs> Espanol Josu. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Can't I just like take a feat to get proficiency in the language or something? I know, right? What does conquezo mean though? Oh god, hold on. What do you mean I'm conquezo? What does conquezo mean? <laughs> What's conquezo and why does it sound menacing with that face? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what is conquezo and why 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 is it so menacing when you use that face to uh, when you say it? Oh god, cheesy! Oh dear. <laughs> Wait, is that actually what that means? <laughs> oh my. Mm, yes. Cheese. Cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? Everyone loves cheese. Okay. Ah, okay. Hmm. Today alert. When are we getting new emotes? I'm not sure. Um, what emotes do we have right now, actually, currently? Maybe next art stream we should draw emotes together. Let's see what we come up with. That, that. Okay, yeah, that's not all the modes. We need more modes. Yeah, next stream, let's actually do that. Next next art stream, let's make some emotes. Yeah. I don't know what emotes I want to I want to put. Hmm, maybe like. Um. Hmm, I need to look at some references because I don't know what emotes will be nice. Maybe a gun emote? Cheer emote? You think cheese, cheese emote? Ah, yes, of course! Mm -mm. I still love the- I still love the cheese membership uh, thingies though. Even though the cheese powder is just a glowstone. <laughs> but I really like how it goes from cheese powder to cheese slice to cheese uh, wedge to cheese uh, to cheese wheel. The progression the gods intended. The cheese gods. I think look at cheese slice, but wheel on some games. Fair enough. Don't worry about it. Hey, hey. Don't worry about it. I made sure to like, you know, for the works thing magic, I made sure to put like all the like all the cool stuff on like the s lowest tier. Greyhound holding a cheese wish with the word cheese cheese <laughs> cheese off. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, oh we need that as well. I think that'll make an amazing sticker as well. Speaking of that actually, yeah, like while we're making emotes, we should like make a sticker pack as well. I want I always want to make a sticker pack, but I haven't you know haven't had the had the had a chance. Like, how many of you actually, how many of you use, like, things like WhatsApp or Line? Maybe I can make something for those. Like, Line stickers and WhatsApp stickers. 
and Discord stickers. Discord is definitely like the 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 main theme Jake we're gonna design the stickers for. But yeah. Also, let's actually write those ideas. Hold on. Um, let me write them down. I forgot to write them. And I'll forget if I write them right down. Uh, let's see. So we got, um, let's see. Cheer. Eat. Cheese. And then, um, cheese off. Or maybe just cheese off. me telling you to cheese off. <laughs> yes. I have a fever. What's fever? I don't know what fever is. Is it another SNS theme magic? Let me look at it up actually, I'm curious. Fever? I never heard of fever before. Oh, cross private instant messaging. Uh huh. Huh. Does it, um, what you call it again, have a. Uh, have stickers on it? If so, then I could probably. If it has like a, um, uh, uh, what you call it again, uh, thingy, what's it called again? A sticker feature? It I could probably make stickers for those. Mm -mm. So you can get hung on stickers. The best platform for if you want stickers is actually like WhatsApp because you can install the stickers for free, and I can also like I can also uh, upload them for free on platforms like Line. Uh, you actually need to like pay a fee to have a, like a listing for like your stickers, at least from what I remember. Ah, neat. What social media? I mean, what SNS? Uh, what you call again? Wait, not really SNS, more like you know, like an I instant messenger everyone is using nowadays. Nowadays, I just use Discord for everything. Thankfully, because like, holy shit, I can't keep track of like more than more than two um two uh instant messaging apps. I do still have like WhatsApp, but it's mostly for like business stuff because like if you're on like a more uh, traditional business, like uh you know business uh. As in like, you know, working with people who's not super computer people, they, they usually use WhatsApp. Back then, like, a lot, of, a lot of people used Line, but I guess, like, you know, I think the reason now I don't see a lot of people use Line is because, like, uh, like, Line is usually used by, like, uh, younger people, and you don't really see the, those people, like, hiring and stuff like that. And everyone, and everyone who's my age, nowadays just use Discord. Because it's like, it has a lot more features. I do know some people from like other, uh, like who's not really computer people, who's my age, use, still use Line though. I don't know why though, Line is like very, one, very heavy, and two, uh, lacks a lot of features. You have, I have some, you have some of the stuff except Reddit? Huh. Fair enough. You used to cover everything except for talking with family members. I'm guessing it's WhatsApp for family members. But yeah, like, you know, like, family members, you cannot get them to use Discord. <laughs> mm -mm. Unless, unless, unless it's like, unless your parent is a, a an early gen. Uh, um, what gen am I again? Like, my generation, but like the early generation. Like, I don't. Like, what's before Gen Z again? Millennial? I think? I don't really know. Gen X? Gen Y? I have no idea. But whatever, whatever generation I am. Mm -mm. Like, early, er, like, the early people from the, that generation will probably, um, use Discord. Yeah, Lemonol, Lemonol, uh, Millennial, I don't know. Something, something. 
don't really know this generation thingy magics. I need to. I, I don't know actually. Yeah, like when do you, you need to be bored to be part of like you know Gen Alpha, Gen Z, Gen X, Gen Y, whatever that is. I don't know. Cell sheet and then this there you go. Okay. When I would I need to be born to be part of the generation? Ah yes. You don't need to be born at a specific time, you just need to it's like the generation is is not a, a generation you were born into, it's a generation you go into. <laughs> Yes. You need, you need to be born in my basement. Generation can be somewhat concerning though sometimes. I'm not really against like giving kids iPads, just please use the parental control features. Let's not let kids watch the things I've watched as a kid in the internet. Though I this I, I this is not as bad because like because thing is that um the internet is like a bit cleaner now uh, in present day. There's a lot of like brain rot and degenerate stuff for, made for kids, but it's a bit cleaner than the internet, the old internet, the old net. Holy shit! I'm speaking cyber cyberpunk terms now. <laughs> Genghis Khan. Ah yes. <laughs> Genghis Khan. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm mm. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm a parent, I will I would let my kids use like you use like Computers and iPads and stuff. Well, not not iPads, probably probably computers. Because here's the thing: I grew up with computers, and it turned me into the person I am today. But I would hold on. I will put quite a bit of parental controls on it. You know, if you use gold lettering, you can keep the red background and add some snowflakes and Christmas tree. Turn this into a Christmas card. Oh my! <laughs> now that you mention it, though, yeah. <laughs> Christmas card. Mm, yes, the hills are alive, Nanoda. <laughs> the best Christmas greeting. Mm, yes, with a gun. <laughs> you can't have Christmas with a gun. It's like it 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 it, it symbolizes the violence in in family meetups on during Christmas. Somewhat fit though for some reason. <laughs> I'm making I'm making a Christmas card version and letting make it a download so you can download and print it as a Christmas card. Why not? It's gonna be the weirdest Christmas card ever, but why not? 
button. Yeah. Violence. Christmas is the season of violence. <laughs> oh my god. The plates are thrown. Uh, kids are crying. Um, uh, uncle is drunk. <laughs> oh dear. I hope it's a PS5. <laughs> Black Panther cells are proof of that. Mm, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Gee, I hope it's a PS5 nano the Christmas presents, but I, I just don't really give people presents in like holidays. It's kind of like a weird thing that I do. Like when I I do give people presents, but it's always in very weird times. Like I don't I don't give people presents on their B days. I don't give people presents like you know holidays like Christmas. But you can expect me to give presents during like like you know, freaking seventh uh, of August or some, August or something. Just a random day. This is a thing that I do for some, for some reason, I don't know. But I think it's nice for a surprise, you know? Like, here's the thing, if you want to surprise someone with a present, they're gonna expect it if you give it on, like, a like a holiday or, like, a day where people give a lot of presents. They won't expect you to give someone a, you know, they won't expect to get a, a cool present on, like, the 7th of May. Not the 7th, more like, maybe the thir 13th of May. You know? <laughs> mm -mm. If I really want to surprise someone with a present, I will give them I'll give them a like I don't know, like uh uh what's what's a fun present actually? Pipe not a pipe bomb. Uh what is a fun present? Hmm. I mean though, honestly like Giving it, giving a pipe bomb as a present and not with no malicious intent will be an interesting present. <laughs> like if someone is uh, like one of those people who's really into those weird stuff, you can give them a homemade pub pipe bomb. <laughs> no malicious intent though. No malicious intent. Give them in, like wrap in like a uh, uh, like ribbons or something, and let them blow things up with it. <laughs> let them do violence with it. I may actually do that as a gag gift at some point. <laughs> Just give someone a pipe bomb. <laughs> oh, I will be trying to give you a beat gift on someone's funeral. <laughs> I mean, it'll be f it'll be funny. <laughs> like, I, in one of my funerals, I will give my best friend something. Like, I will, I will give my best friend like I don't know, like something, something stupid, like a, uh, like, like um, um, what will be funny to give someone? Hmm. Oh, you know, like like a huge pen, like a pen that's like like fifty centimeters long, and then like and then around like maybe like uh five centimeters in the, or like four three four five centimeters in diameter. A huge pen. I'm gonna give them that as a present in my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> well, like if I if I'm gonna have a funeral, I might as well make it cool, you know. I might as well make it like a fun time. I'm gonna have like I'm gonna have like a buffet in my funeral, and then like I wanna I wanna have like a door prize, <laughs> a, a lucky a lucky funeral goer will go and will go home with my ashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> There's a pipe bomb to a funeral. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh dear. <laughs> that would be hilarious though, just think about it. Like, I'm going into a funeral and there's a door prize and it's a fucking good. It's, it's like ashes. <laughs> A lucky funeral goer will get to take home my ashes, hell yeah! <laughs> oh god... It all makes sense as well because I, you know, I'm not planning on having kids, so having like someone uh, get my ashes when I, when I die would kinda make sense. <laughs> like some random dude get, gets my ashes. <laughs> oh dear. I swear the things I come up with sometimes. <laughs> So the first one to MVP everyone at the funeral wins and hunts wins hunts ashes, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking doing that. I don't I don't care what the, the people think of me. I'm 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 putting my ashes for like for or maybe for souvenirs. Why not? Like like you know like uh, when when I, when you turn me into ashes, it's gonna be like an entire jar. Who needs that much? Ashes. I want. I want someone to like. I want someone to, to put them into tiny little, tiny little compartments, tiny little like maybe tiny little vials, and then like everyone who comes into the funeral, they get like a vial of my ashes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh god, that's beautiful. Funeral is actually conveyed as something not be sad with, uh, sad with in some places and traditions. So it might work. Yeah. Mm -mm. Hey. If I if I hey if I if I die I don't want people to cry about it I want to people to actually like which about be glad I'm dead well not in that way but you know be glad I'm dead as in you know I'm finally I'm 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 finally leaving this shitty ass world you know <laughs> like fuck you I'm out <laughs> mm -mm. so yeah be happy that I can't make this world a worse place anymore. <laughs> Mm -mm. But I also don't think that that isn't something we should be afraid of. I honestly don't really care about like dying too much. Whatever happens, happens. I don't know what's gonna happen when I'm dead, but I'm sure gonna enjoy finding out. Or not, I don't know. I certainly hope it's the void. I think the best, the best, um, the best, uh, whatchamacallit again, um, end to life is, uh, emptiness. Just nothingness. Finally ascend into a higher form of, form of existence. Instead of being trapped in the purgatory that is existence. Probably all of your ideal uh, dead, dead scenarios though, like, you know, what What do you think is the best thing to happen after death? Mm -mm, maybe, maybe not. Because hmm. for me, like, if, after death, I think the best fate would be like, uh, like, an uh, eternity of unconsciousness. Like, just, just floating in the void. Nothingness, like, not being conscious anymore. Because I think like the whole concept is like heaven. Like imagine being trapped in in conscience, in consciousness forever. That's kind of sad. And people are gonna haunt us probably, maybe. I mean, Christians celebrate the death of Jesus during Holy Week, so we can celebrate our dead as your dead as well. Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm. Celebrate it. Drink, drink cheese sauce on my on my on, in in my funeral. Hell yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Make it, make it a funeral to remember. Put some confetti in my corpse. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Or a funeral you want to forget? 
<laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that's even better. To get a ghostly ass two people into this, they, they can scare and run away. Yeah. You know, I don't think being a ghost is that fun though. Because here's the thing: like, think of how crowded it will be throughout the throughout uh, like uh, throughout the humanity. How how many people have died? That many people is gonna be with you in Ghost Realm or something like that. It's gonna be very unpleasant and very smelly. Very smelly and sweaty. Assuming ghosts can sweat. I sure hope I won't become a ghost. Christians celebrate the Day of the Dead and that their souls are released from this world. Oh! Huh. Day of the Dead. Interesting. When I use the of the first thing I think the office like 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 Los Muertos or something. I don't know. But huh. Well see had with a bottle of champagne in his coffin with confetti and a party hat. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. What you call again? When I'm dead, post my corpse to make it seem like I'm just like passed out from drinking. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. You dress me up and post me to make it look like I'm drinking and then fell asleep in the coffin. <laughs> Hell yeah! It'll be dope. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die doing what I love. <laughs> Refort, yeah. Why do we so many hunt to die now? That's not good. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen eventually, anyway. So, <laughs> usually after this, I will say why not gonna do inevitable. But oh god. <laughs> mm -mm. One day, one day I'll die, and it's gonna be a blast. And by a blast, I mean literally. <laughs> gonna gonna put gonna gonna put put a bomb in my corpse. <laughs> like I'm gonna go off with a blast. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be like a what you call like an uh, an explosion funeral. Like a, a an explosion burial or something. I don't know. It technically is it technically is a send off actually. It technically is a send off. Cause you you know you you get blown to bits. There's nothing left of your corpse. It's technically a send off. <laughs> Reverse gender reveal party. Mm, yes. Gender unrevealing party. Or something. I don't know. Wait, isn't that just saying someone can get part parting when someone gets uh, sterilized or something? Oh dear. Sterilization party. <laughs> but I don't know, when I die, I also want to, like, you know, like, if it's possible, I want a Tom and Jerry ass dead. Like, time I corpse onto, like, a, onto a, those a firewood rocket and launch me into, into orbit or something, I don't know. <laughs> like, that one thing, Imajik, that, like, that one Tom and Jerry episode where Tom got, was, was tied onto a firewood rocket and it, 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 he got shot up and then the firework explodes in the shape of him. Actually, no, I don't think so. I don't, I think it's just, it just explodes off screen, but yeah, like imagine, imagine like imagine like uh, me, uh, you tie my corpse and corpse onto a fire rocket, uh, light it up, and then blam when it when it explodes, it, it's just like it's it, it's shaped like me. <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay. So instead of setting whole force on fire, we want plant trees instead. I'll be done with that. Honestly, that will be nice as well. <laughs> Honestly. Like, maybe a less bombastic and a more, like, philanthropic, philanthropic, 
um, funeral will be interesting. Like instead of like, instead of like, I'm not mean, sure. Like bury me, bury me raw, bury me raw, and plant a tree on me or something. Bury me in the middle of the forest. Mm -mm. And then ashes fertilized tree. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, what you call again? Like, uh, drop me into a hole in the ground, uh, and then like just just plant a tree on top of me. That's gonna be my tree. That's my tombstone. Though if I die and like uh, whoever like whoever is like setting up my thingy magic wants me to like, you know, insist on me being buried. I do want to get buried raw though. Just like be buried without a coffin. Cause here's the thing, like coffins aren't exactly like that environmentally friendly. They're they take quite a while to decay. Just bury me raw, I don't I don't I don't care. I think it's nicer to be buried raw. I don't I don't, I don't want my corpse to be stuck in a in an eternal coffin. Like in a in a in a, in a wooden box in the ground. I want it to be like absorbed back into nature. I came from the soil. I shall come back to the soil. Be one with my fungus ancestors. To be serious, though there are few traditions in a few places in the country where the body is just burning outside for anyone to see, especially in the place where uh, where temples are rare. It's real. Huh. I mean, that's interesting. Hmm. That's actually interesting. But it kind of makes sense. It, it is. Burning is also like a pretty like common scent off. I know it's like... Like, when I think of burning, I think of like, you know... Like, I mean, cremation is one, but like... Um, you know, like, for example, like back then when like uh, a f uh, like a fucking Viking be fucking Viking burial <laughs> or something I don't know, uh, fucking burial, Viking burial or something I don't know. Like when they when they sent off like the sent off the corpse of the fallen dude in their ship alongside all of their belongings, including their wives and slaves for some reason. <laughs> oh my god. Norse? Is it Norse? I don't know. Is it Norse burial? I don't really know what it's called. I don't think it's Viking. I don't know. Um, if when someone steals your feet once you're dead. I mean, honestly, I'm dead. Do whatever my, you want with my corpse, honestly. I don't care. <laughs> like, when I'm dead, do you think I care about what happens, what happens to my body? You can do whatever you want with it. You can you can take my foot, uh, cry cryogenically preserve it, and play football with it. I don't care. <laughs> but that will be funny. <laughs> Then we may finally get those hundred feet picks. Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Like when I when I die when I die, someone chop my one of my feet off, put it in a ball of resin to preserve it, and play football with it. <laughs> Actually, no, that's gonna be a bit like that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a bit um like that's gonna hurt your foot a bit. And like it's like a snow globe maybe, a snow globe, but it's foot. <laughs> You can have it like as a trinket on the on the shelf. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, another fun option actually. Like you know, you know that oh, what you call again that um that um what you call it again. There's this one uh company that essentially turns people's bodies or ashes into into diamonds. If someone who wants to pay the money and turn me into a diamond, put me in. Make sure to like turn off my body into ashes, except for my skull. And then like turn the rest into diamonds, and then put the diamonds on the eyes of the of the skull. I can be a demilich. <laughs> Hell yeah! I, I always wanted to be a demilich.
if I recall correctly, this is like a really weird uh company that turns like that turns the ashes of a dead person into like into bullets somehow. I'm not sure how. But if I but if I ever uh die with some unfinished business, I would want someone to turn my corpse into a bullet <laughs> and and use it to shoot the person I have unfinished business with. <laughs> If I ever die with some unfinished business, that is. Wait, how can it turn into bullets? I actually don't know. I think it's the ashes, and I think the company doesn't actually make the bullets fireable. I think they just put it in the put it in the place where you put gunpowder. But I'm not sure. I need to search it up, or you know, you can search it up if you want. I'm not entirely sure how it works, or maybe the, maybe they turn into a into a tip or something. But if they miss, well, it's 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 on them, I guess. <laughs> it's it's gonna be a bit sad. It's gonna be a bit awkward. It's gonna be a bit anticlimactic. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if the, it's actually fireable, but you can switch it up. I'm pretty sure it's a, a real thing company that led, that turns people's ashes or something into bullets. Can you do use a corpse for actually? Oh, you know, this one will be a very creepy option. But hey, I'm a, I'm completely fine if someone wants to turn my dead body into a doll. Doll. <laughs> like turn it into a doll and put me in like it put me like in I don't know a place. I remember that, that there's that one like. A grave robber who turns the corpse of people into dolls. It's it's slightly disturbing, but also very interesting. And I will I will not oppose anyone if they want to turn my corpse into a doll. Into a doll go for it. Honestly, it'll be interesting. Mm -mm. You were just thinking about that? Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. Turn my corpse into a doll. Just make sure that it's well preserved and looks nice. If you're if you're gonna turn me into a doll, make sure it looks pretty. Imagine you get shot the head with Femboy ashes. Mm, yes. <laughs> like when you die, there's gonna be like uh, there's gonna be Femboy ashes mixed into into your into your uh, gray matter. Mm, yes. <laughs> When I'm when I die, I'm also not opposed to like what you call again me being eaten. Hey, like hey, like when I die, get my corpse. Uh, what you call again? Uh, fillet everything and then let 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 my like a lot of my close friends have a feast. Let them let them eat. <laughs> Do this first. Um, okay, I think this is alright. Though it is super saturated. Maybe if I turn it down a bit. No, that's too dark. I don't like that. I just I think this is alright. Maybe I, I'll move the thing a bit towards uh, uh, red, maybe? Like so. Yeah, I think that's alright. I have to rethink a bit of what we just were talking about. Honestly, yeah, what? How did we get here actually? Earlier we were talking about fishes, like eating fish, and now we're talking about 
Um, um, how, 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 what weird ways we can, we can utilize a corpse? <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the the usual Hanan stream it just goes into um, very you know peculiar territories. <laughs> how did we? <laughs> so now you may be asking, how did we get here? Ah <laughs> uh, yes, how did we get here? Anyways, <laughs> actually I'm kind of curious myself. How did we start off talking about? Fish and end up talking about uh, uh, using corpses for weird for weird things. <laughs> Whack. Nah, from nails to feet, from feet to fish, from fish to eggs, and now we did funeral and ashes. <laughs> How did we get here? Oh dear. But hey, can't can have a Hanan stream without very weird conversations that lead from one one weird place to another weird place. <laughs> it's kind of like Wikipedia jumping, or like Wikipedia traveling. You can start from like a one page and end up at like a completely different page on the other on uh on the other end of the of Wikipedia. It, I think it's not from Christmas pipe bomb, but not sure. I forgot. Christmas pipe bomb. Hmm. Like something involving hmm, giving gifts to my friend. Oh yeah, and then we're talking about gifts, and then like CJ talked about like giving a gift during a funeral as a joke, and then I think I talked about like me wanting my funeral to be like actually fun and stuff like that, and then it turned into like the the corpse thing of a joke. <laughs> Oh dear. Ah uh, yes, the 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 classic Hanan conversation. Okay. Um. Flip. Let's do uh, this. This. And let me check this. Mm -mm. Mm. No, they, no, they we're not talking about corpses. What the fuck do we talk about? I don't know, I'm bad at continuing conversations. Well, I'm drawing. Even then, I'm not drawing. I'm not a super social person, honestly. But you know, that's just me. I suck at socializing. The introvert curse. I mean, I guess when I'm talking with like, uh, which one kind of with with close friends, I can uh, run, uh, keep a conversation for a, quite a bit, quite some time. But with people I barely know, and people that I just know for the sake of like knowing, they're really bad at socializing. Yeah. Christmas this June though, because I always celebrate Christmas at June. Because yes, I think it has. It, I think at this point it has become like become a tradition for me to for me to do a Christmas stream on the middle of June. Because why not? Spirit anytime, yeah. Every day is Christmas Day. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In fact, let's celebrate Christmas now. Uh, flip, 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 flip. Play. Huh? Christmas! Christmas! <laughs> it's Christmas now! Merry fucking Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! 
<laughs> As in you shall receive. <laughs> it's Christmas now and there's nothing you can do about it. Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No, Christmas music is nice. Weirdly enough, I listen to Christmas music off season quite a lot. And also, weirdly enough, I also don't listen to Christmas music that much on Christmas Day. Because I feel like I get sick. I get sick of Christmas music every time it's Christmas because everyone plays it. But off season, it's actually nice. I like how you know how calm some Christmas music are. Mm. Okay. I'm going to intersect and do this. I'm doing this a bit too, like, I made the... I wonder if I made the... Okay, no, it's not. I feel, I feel like I thought I made, might have made the soft shades a bit too soft. This is fine. This should be fine. Almost done with it. We're actually almost done. Thankfully. Well, after this, we just need like the highlights, and then we need to uh, render the eyes, and then, and then we need to think of a background. Actually, right now, I think I'm gonna like do like some sort of like you know, kind of like a window-looking thing, and like uh, like the square, but the character picking out of it and then have it like be like green hills with blue skies because you know the hills are alive none of the <laughs> hmm let's do this okay now this Yo, let's how's they been? Welcome! How's they been? Uh, this is what we're drawing today. Um, let me like... Yeah, how's they been? Uh, we're currently drawing a bit. And... Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> um, alright, let's see. Um... Blup. This part of your day has been nice. To change the color on this thing. Let me see the insides of the the seats. That this is also not something that nobody will really notice, but who cares? I like I like the tiny little details. Yeah. There we go. 
and then over here. Look, the tree. And then do the same thing. Mm. This. Is this the same song? Oh no, it's not. Wait, is it? Hold on. I think the music may be like uh, may have been like Oh I have it on a one loop. That's why it was like oh, okay that was that was that's why it didn't change. I mean yeah, I do agree with that. Like, even if the small details is something that people don't is the small details is something that people don't Necessarily see usually, but it's like something that people are really, uh, you know, feel. I mean, I I'm gonna show you later. Uh, hold on, wrong tool. There you go. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that later. Like these little soft shades, you probably won't really know. You won't really notice it. Like if you look closely at the picture right now, you can barely notice the soft shades, and the 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 part on the body is like a bit more noticeable. But if you if I zoom out and remove the soft shade. It immediately looks much flatter. You can like you can see it, and this, this is funny. If I remove this, you can see like the all the curves and stuff like that. It actually still looks like a thingy a thing. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Oh, actually, let me actually double check the values as well. Because I think, hold on, flatten and adjustments, black and white. Because I think, here's the thing, like, some of this, um... Okay, the values are alright. Some, this part may be blending in with each other a tiny bit, but, you know, values are neat. She'll, she'll keep an eye on it. Especially if you're just starting out. If you're just starting out and you don't have, like, that art, art instinct, art sense yet, um, checking values is important. It's a lot easier to do if you're you if you have digital if you're doing digital. Once you get the sense going though, like if you once you have that art sense, you can easily like you can see the values without like um, turning the picture black and white. Like you know, like all of this, I only like I think I only did, did like one uh, value check. If I like, let me if I do that again. If I need to flatten, I did I only did one value check when I was checking the the color of the skirt. But um, if you do black and white. You want all of the, uh, like, not, we don't want any colors to be, to be, um, blending in with each other. I think the only thing that's like, blending in quite a bit is, like, the skin color, the white, but I don't think that's, like, too much of, of a problem. But, like, things like the dress and the feet, the shirt, stuff like that, it's very distinct colors. Mm -hmm. You're gonna keep the ice like that? No, I'm, like, I'm gonna actually render the ice later. I'm, d I'm still, like, working on it. I usually do the ice last. I'm not sure why. It's a weird habit that I have. I know a lot of artists do ice first, actually. I don't know why. Uh, I just, I just, it's just a habit for me to do it last. The sign is just, it's just base color. Okay, here you go, that's the top of the head, and then I love how round the head is. <laughs> Usually heads are, aren't this round, but like I like how round this is. But in, you know, when I look at the my reference picture, a lot of other people also draw the head as being really round. Like it doesn't have like that, that tiny little um, head uh, nudge thing image that you usually see. It's kind of, it actually looks nice, I like it. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, let's do highlights. Let's see. Wait, is it is it all the soft shade though? Let me just double check that. Oh, I forgot to do soft shade in the gun, but the gun should be should be pretty simple. Let's just do this.
and then I want to like I want to put all of shadows in like the parts where it's like it's like uh, the hand is there. I want to put all of shadows there. Cause like if you put um if you put more like objects around a certain object, it will cast a lot more am ambient shadows. It's called ambient occlusion. You can actually try this yourself at home for those of you who wants to. Like if you if you put your hand up to a wall, you see the normal shadow. But if you get closer, you have to, you can you see this like dark aura around it. That's actually like that's like a, a dark soft shadow around it. That's that's actually ambient occlusion. It's not the main shadow, but it's like a it's like a because. Light doesn't just uh, cast onto the wall in a straight line. They actually bounce a lot. So because when something is closer to a wall, the more light gets caught by the uh, by the object and not bounce, which causes the like the black aura thing magic thing magic. Light is very bouncy. I think that's something that I think that's something that uh, uh, a lot of artists should learn. I just, I personally don't really light that much unless I'm drawing illustrations. But light does bounce a lot. Small light uh, gradients gives a cartoonish character a more approachable feel. So it's it's good art technique. Yeah. Mm -mm. Personally, like it. And back then, for when I started start doing, just start drawing, I actually didn't do this. But now, but when I did it once, it makes makes the drawing look much more like you know. It gives it a lot more depth, and I really like it. Mm -mm. Looks a lot less flat. Just very slight gradients, kind of like that. I should put more details, like you know, on the shirt and the and the gun. I should do that. Hold on, let me see really quickly. Like for example, um, like if I do this, like and then do the this color, and then let's like make a layer, make extra details, and then make it like a very very um a very low opacity, and then we can do. Let's see first. Um, how? Oh, I don't. I don't want my soft brush. I want my solid brush. Okay, I can like that. Um, I completely forgot about this. I should add this. Cause, uh, for example, um, uh, like especially in the reference picture, the the sh middle shirt doesn't actually um actually has a thingy on it. Mm, although, hold on, let me, let me double check a lot of like, my, my reference pictures. I actually did forget like an important detail, like the shirt have buttons in the middle. I should add that. Hold on. Um, base color, let's do this. I completely forgot about that. Whoops. I occasionally just forget things like that sometimes when you're drawing. Okay. Uh, hold on. This other one I want to be straighter, like so. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll hand draw it. Sometimes, sometimes the circle tool is just, it's just drunk. Sometimes, so you get to know how to draw, um, draw the circles yourself. It's not even a circle; it's like more of a like an, an oblong shape, but it, it it gets the point across. Cause it's not, f it's not a flat. That's the problem. So like sometimes, uh, sometimes the, uh, the. 
the circle to gets gets really weird. Just does this sometimes it's normal. Oh that's not actually hold on, hold on. Just do this. Do this. They won't notice a thing. Nobody will notice a thing. And there you go. Alright. Now let's make sure that there's no holes. Yeah, there's a hole here. Um Look, there you go. And then I wanna get this, get the cell shade. Have some uh, like this very light cell shade here. Because this thing is practically touching the touching the fabric under it, so it shouldn't have much shadows. Now, I also want any much soft shades there, but extra details, and the extra details um, layer. Just do the thing. So like here, it's gonna like keep, keep it very, very like, very loose. Like so. Okay, yeah, how is the wet by you? Uh, I can't actually see it because my my room doesn't really have windows, but um, I can't really hear rain, so I think it's just like just a uh, quiet night. I think, I think, at least. Okay. Um, let me actually check the like the the reference picture. Is there any uh, like important details that I should add? I kind of want to add the like the the. Thingy. Like on the original picture, let me actually show you if I uh this one is a bit slated though. Hold on, let me show you the proper picture. Have you guys seen the the reference picture I used for the dress actually? It's near summer now? Oh yeah, I mean I mean I mean I thought spring just started. <laughs> I don't know. But whatever, I feel like it feels like the spring just started. But I don't know. Okay, um Let's see, give me a second. Where is um um, where's the reference picture? Let me try to find it. No, it's here somewhere. I know, keep it here. Like the high resolution reference picture. Where is it? I know it's here. It's here. No, it's not. It's um. Where is it? We're in autumn. Ah, yes, the southern hemisphere, where the seasons are upside down. Okay, here it is. Image. Let's see if I can paste it over here. It's huge, but you know, like on the or on the original uh, reference for the dead dress, there's this tiny little like little uh, things on the side. I don't know if I'm if I can draw it though. It's a bit. It's a bit. Um, it's very intricate. <laughs> I don't know if I can, but this other like you know this tiny little details. But I'm not gonna draw these. These are way too detailed. I don't think I can like. I don't think I can do it on my drawing. Um, yeah. You live in this um, always summer land, anyways. Mm, yes. The summer land. Neat. Okay. Let's go to extra details layer. Turn up the value a bit and turn down the saturation. I think that's a good color. Let's see. Um. Hold on. Blip. Uh, I think I want to be a bit uh, more on this ball. Yeah, there you go, kind of like that. I use the laser technique by having a color direction from the cat and an overall palette of image. Basically using many best things of the color palettes. Makes sense, yeah. I mean, for me, I don't usually try to, I don't usually constrain myself too much to the color palette, but I do use like a, a very like monochromatic color palette if you see, you know. Like if you look at a lot of my cat designs, usually my color palette is very, um, Monochromatic, but though I do use a lot of like color variation, like a lot of different different shades for the color. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. I also take a lot of like inspiration from like from like real stuff for like for um, color palettes. I use a lot. I use a lot of like real objects for reference on the color. This is very intricate. Uh, why am I doing? Why am I drawing this thing? Um, this is like this is so needlessly um, intricate, but uh, why not? I guess. There you go. 
This is like the tiny details nobody will actually see. <laughs> but it's there. It's there. There you go. And just like, just a part of it here, probably. Just give it a hint. So like, it's... So people know it's it's there, but like, it's mostly blocked by the thingy. Okay, that's not bad. That's not that bad. Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, you know, like me, I'm like mostly just sort of white, pink, and on the new design, it's like white, pink, and black. And then like, uh, like when I designed Runa, it's mostly just the watermelon color uh, palette, just green, red, uh, uh, and black. Very, very limited color palettes. I think Runa also has like some, some like a tiny bit of yellow as accent colors. But I do like, I do personally like, um, uh, small color palettes, but sometimes I do also kind of want to, you know, like, I don't really do it that much, but, so I really want to try to design some, like, characters, for example, with m a more, um, more bigger color palettes. Okay, do I just, oh, okay, that looks alright. The music is different, I know, right? Yeah. Mm, yes, Christmas. What color palettes do everyone use actually? Like my 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 when I design characters, my color palette is usually very monochromatic. But I do very occasionally use complementary and triad color palettes. Like me, me, and Runa's design is actually like um, a, a very monochromatic. But there's actually a tiny little secret. <laughs> when you combine me and Runa's design, like put uh, put us together in like the same picture, it becomes it becomes complementary. <laughs> and I actually intended that for like for a thing. So mo mo a lot of you will know later why I did that. Mm mm. Why did the music stop? That the stop was very abrupt, but okay. Mm -mm. But yeah. Actually sp specifically designed uh, me, uh, Runa and Yumi's design to be very like, you know, to mix well with the car to have the car mix well with each other. All three are very monochromatic, but it mixes well together if you combine them. It becomes like the primary color colors. Well, not the primary color, more like you know the primary uh, additive colors, like uh, uh, red, as in pink, green, as in like light green, and blue as in light blue. So it's like red, green, and blue. It's very nice. The complementary actually really shows if you like you know like if you look at my design. Let me actually show you. Um, let me skip that. Um, do this. Can I do this? Oh, this is contain an image. Which one is favorite? What do you mean which one is my favorite? I don't know. But if I do this, for example, let's, re let's remove this. Um, let's, uh... Uh, 12. There we go. And then put me over here. And then, oh my god, I'm short as hell. Oh my god, I'm short as hell. And then, like, check this out. If I if I um, invert the colors, it becomes like it becomes it becomes each other's colors. If I like reverse the colors, like it becomes this becomes pink. This becomes like uh, well purplish magenta. This becomes greenish. It becomes it turns it 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 just reverses like the colors. <laughs> it's very neat. I really like it. Like it. 
Okay, um, let's see, where, where are we at? Um, they're talking about color palettes, like, I don't mean, know, like, me, I just use mono a lot of mono monochromatic palettes. So probably monochromatic. But I do like to play around with colors a bit sometimes. Um, let's see. Let's do a thingy to the mouth. Wait, what is this layer? Why is it an empty layer again? Oh, that's supposed to be for the highlights, I think. Let's see. Highlights. Let's do the solid highlights first. Um, actually, hold on. Maybe I'll do render the eyes first. Face. There we go. Um, let's do the eyes first. Let me get my references and see how the eyes are usually colored. Uh, let's take from the original picture. Okay, so it's it goes from like uh, reddish oranges to ish to like to um to green. Okay, I'm not gonna work with that. Let's see. Um, let's start with um this color maybe. Yeah, I think that that's that's a good color to start with. Also, what's the music? Huh, the music stopped. Okay, did I? Oh, I think I, I don't have like... I don't have um... Uh, all repeat, I forgot to turn on all repeat. Darker green? Uh, what do you mean darker green? <laughs> okay, um... I think it ended, yeah, the music ended. <laughs> okay, um, so now let's uh... This, there you go. I think I want to like kick this up into the yellow a lot more because uh I can just just keep on going actually. Because like her eyes are supposed to be like yellow, so I don't want it to be to be to be too orange. So welcome, welcome to Leo Sleepian. Mac 11 thumbnail? Mac 11? What's Mac 11? I have oh if you're talking about the gun. I don't know, I really don't know what gun it is. I, I, I'm not a gun person, I just I just drew a gun, an, a very anatomically wrong gun. There we go, okay, there we go. I think, I think, actually, this is a pretty nice palette for the eye. Let's do that. Let's use this, to, this color palette. Let's leave in. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised none of the usual gun nuts in, in the chat in chat uh, complain. I mean, I guess they didn't like k come, so like I guess that's good. Cause like actually I do have gun nuts in my in my chat. They're weird, oddly common for some reason. <laughs> This music. Why not? Dark green the eye? Uh oh like uh I don't uh which one the eyes is uh I'm actually like there's actually like an, a design of like a cat that already exists, so like I'm kind of following that design for like the eye for like the cat there. Like this is the cat I'm drawing. Hold on, hold on, I'm back. Let's finish this. Mm -mm. Let's see. Copy. This is the original cat there. Plop. This is the original cat that I am that I'm drawing. So like you know, I still use like most of the colors and stuff. Okay. Um still keep all of the colors consistent. Okay, now this. Where are they from? Uh, they're they're from a voice synthesizer app. <laughs> mm -mm. And technically, a show. Technically, I guess I don't really know. I don't know much about the show. It's like uh, a voice box. Voice box. Uh, let me like uh, type it down. Voice. 
Yes. There you go. Check it out. Very nice. Uh, very nice voice synthesizer. And amazing for shit posts. <laughs> The only reason I love her so much is because there's so many Japanese shit posts <laughs> with her in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check it out. Like this entire, this entire like drawing is actually like half like kind of shit pose as well. <laughs> Cause like a lot of like a lot of um, artists have been like drawing her with uh, with with um, with the with the dress because funny and yes okay let's go very scary eyes look a bit later actually this the the scary eyes kind of fit especially with the gun oh yes. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's clean this up a bit. Okay. The scary psycho eyes. Mm, yes. My favorite part of drawing drawing eyes. The the psycho eyes that happens before I finish it. It's a side effect of my style. Eye color looks like reminds me of those um, those fizzly vitamin C pills. Actually, for some reason. Those thingy objects that uh, those those little tablets that you can throw into water and they'll bubble and turn the water orange and make the make the make the uh, water taste nice. Oh, I love those. I should get one of some of those actually. As soon as I got one of those. I think last time I got one of those was like almost a decade ago, probably. I really like those. I forgot what they're called though. I need to see if they still sell them. Okay. Slowly, slowly. I still have the still have the psycho eyes. The psycho eyes somehow like looks nice with the with the freaking gun. Also, I don't I, hold on. I think the eyes are symmetrical. It's not symmetrical. I need to fix that. Um, the eyes are looking at the at the um, at the camera. Let's do this like that. Let's see. Okay, and then this one also needs to like go here. It's left psycho eyes, but but don't worry, it'll, it'll get fixed soon. Okay, there you go. Okay, yeah, that, that's better. Which flat flip? Oh, not that. Oh my god, it somehow fits though. The freaking psycho eyes fit <laughs> because gun. Yes. Oopsies. I have a good pressure of lucky enemies with no eye reflections. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> mm -mm. You, should, you, should, you should screenshot all of these then when, when uh, they don't have the eye reflections yet. When they still have the psycho eyes. Okay. Let's uh, do this. And I'll do the mod first before I forget. 
guess I forget about this a lot. There we go. There we go. And then, let's see. Um, this. Now, let's, uh, do the thing, the eye whites. I usually start with a red when it comes to like when doing eye whites, just because it's much easier to see. Because sometimes uh, the eye whites can the eye white color can blend in with the with the skin color, which makes it a bit more difficult to see. Especially if you're drawing people with like you know very light skin. Speaking of that, actually, I need to learn how to draw like people with darker skin a bit better. I don't draw darker skin that much, so I'm not that good at it. I should give it a shot. I just don't really know much cats that have like, you know, darker skin. And I don't really have much OCs with darker skin either. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now, let's give it the shadow. Much lighter like that, and give it a slight blue or red. And eh, no, let's see. Um, let me think. It was like the red. No, I like I, I like the colder color for a bit better. Kind of like this. There you go. Okay. The hills are alive. It's alive. It will eat you. The hills will eat you. The hills are alive. The sound of music. Uzi. Okay, there you go. Please don't eat me. <laughs> mm, yes. Then don't be so delicious. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, I need to flatten for a bit. Image flatten. I'm gonna grab this and this, there you go, and then unflatten. And then go back to the eyes. This. And then, so I'm gonna do this first. Get the soft brush and do this. There we go. And then um, now we um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, we merge these two layers. Copy. And then paste, and then remove, remove, and then do another layer, and then I mean rename the layer, and then um, go to base color, grab this, and then invert, and then go over here, and then um, this. Oh, remove the stuff. There we go. Okay. And then now let's do the thingy. Um, let's see. Oh, let me just use this layer. This empty layer this is an empty layer, right? And then we have glowing eyes. Glowing eyes. Mm, yes. Uh, solid, solid highlights. There you go. Now. Do um, one on, on the brush size and do this. There we go. Ok. 
Okay. It was... Deep is in the progress? I mean, it's kind of already done. The pupil, the pupil is done. The iris I'm working on. The pupil is like the... Uh, the pupil is um, this, the middle part, this is done. The iris is like this entire thing, the one with color. And then the eye is the this entire thing. I guess technically with the eyelids as well. Mm -mm. So there you go. Okay, yeah, there, that's there you go. That's decent. Okay, now um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, solid highlight. Let's uh, do the rest of the highlight. Mm -mm, yeah, it's actually done. Now, and then okay, that's the cheek highlights and. So like a small highlight on over here. Actually, no, I'm not even gonna put the highlight there. Mm -mm. It's a bit light, but okay. Oh, okay. I mean, the, then again, I guess like in the in the original picture. Oh, the original picture is pretty dark. But I guess like in the lot of picture that I use, it is pretty like it is pretty um uh, light. Hmm, maybe maybe I can like see what how it looks like with darker eyes. Actually, let me see that. Let me try it. Also, let me also remove this. I forgot to remove that. Let's actually give that a shot. Let's try. Let's see how it looks like. So we do this, do another layer, and let's like we can do something like this. Oh my god, not like that, but essentially do this. Make it multiply and then do like just like give it a, a nice nudge towards the color. And like this. And like that. Um now it's a bit more orange though, it's a bit too orange now. Yellow is a bit difficult because yellow is yellow is such a like yellow is such a such a strong Oh this one is actually kinda nice. Ooh, this yeah, this actually looks kinda nice. I might keep this one. Mm -mm. Yes, no, now it looks pretty yellow. Thanks for the suggestion. Yellow is a bit difficult to be to make um dark because yellow is already naturally such a such a bright color. Uh like making it dark. Uh, if you want to make yellow dark but not muddy, you need to shift it towards orange. And it's it only takes a little orange to make it uh, orange instead of yellow. Like you know, for example, this is this is um actually hold on. Like this is yellow. This is like actually no, that's not even yellow. It's orangey yellow. This is yellow. This is yellow. But like if I tone down the value, it turns into this muddy, y icky looking looking yellow. It's like very very yucky. I don't like it. Usually when you want to like when you want to um uh like make this a card like this darker, you tone down the like in the case of yellow you want to tone down the green a bit so it turns into like this darker yellow, but it turns it very orangey, you know? Mm -mm. Usually when I do yellows I make make sure the saturation is pretty low. Um like so. So when I make a yellow a dark want to make the yellow darker, I can do something like this. It already looks darker, but then if I want to make it like slightly, like look even even darker, I usually shift the hue a bit, like towards the orange, and make it look like this. Maybe like maybe saturation can be like a bit lower, and like this. It's color, this color theory stuff. Yeah, there you go. That like that's a nice that that's a nice uh light and dark dark color. It's not just like turning down, turning down the value of the color because it makes like if I turn down this the value of this color, it's just gonna look like this. It's gonna look very yucky. It's ew, uh, like this ew. It's very it's very dull. Very like uh, it's kind of like it looks dirty. I really don't like it. But yeah, sunflower yellow and mustard yellow. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> but yeah, yellow can be a bit difficult. But it's not. It is like you know you can still work around it. I think the most difficult card to work around would be... What is it actually? Maybe something like, uh, like lilac? Like something like, um, something like this? Lavender color or something? It's not that difficult to work around, but it's kind of like yellow. I think yellow is one of the most difficult colors to work around. Just because, uh, changing it a tiny bit just makes it into a different color. It's a very big color. Especially if you're doing traditional, if you're doing like, uh, if you're mixing paint in, in traditional, you need a lot of yellow and a, just a drop of like a different color to make it, uh, to mix them. 
because yellow is just such a light and um, uh, uh, you know, a color that doesn't have much power. Okay. Um, all right. Let me. Um, let's see. Uh, why is this two of these layers? I don't know why, but I'm gonna remove this other layer. Um, let's do, um... Oh, actually, hold on. Before I forget, let's do the line colors. Let's go to base color, go over here. Um, this. There we go, and let's do, um... Let's see. Over here, and then... Line color. Let's do line color before before I forget. Because I'm very forgetful. Okay, I'm gonna like I'm gonna do uh make the make this like bright red first so I can like distinguish it easier and then I'll just I'll just fill it with like a different color. Just immediately change it to a different color. Are we gonna make the Mac 11 any more detailed? Uh not really, I don't think so. I'm not no, not really not actually a gun guy, I don't really know how to make like re uh, some guns like uh guns realistic i'm more of a, like a like a fantasy or like a card when it comes to like guns i am better at drawing like fantasy and cartoon guns don't really like draw them too detailed even my gun designs are very cartoony for those of you who've seen mm -mm. yeah i mean hey feel free if you want feel free if you want though i probably won't be like changing the current design though Mm-mm. But yeah. I usually go less like you know less less real, more cartoon with guns. That's just my thing. The contrast will be funny though, like having a very realistic gun and with a very cartoony drawing. <laughs> mm-mm. The contrast will be pretty uh, funny. She arms one of those submachine gun video games where, the, where fires very rapidly fast but not the most accurate. Yeah, whatever the gun that is. The 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 generic video game submachine gun. <laughs> the Uzi or something, I don't know. Let's call it the Uzi. But like the universal Uzi, it's just, it just it goes for any submachine gun that looks like an Uzi, even if it's not an Uzi, but it's an Uzi. Yeah, definitely not an Uzi. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. But I don't, I don't do guns. Like, I, I you can you can show me a rifle and I'll you can show me whatever rifle and I'll call it an M4A1 because I just don't know any other rifles. The only gun that I recognize is what an AK. That's pretty much it. Every like, there's only two rifles in my eyes, an AK and a and an M4A1. The others are the others are, are mental illnesses <laughs> or something. I don't know. Mm -mm. But yeah, I don't really I don't really know too much about guns. <laughs> I'm not a gun person. Mm -mm. But yeah. You can show me, you can show me a, you can show me a shotgun and I just call it a shotgun. I don't know what shotgun it is, it's, it's just a shotgun. It's either a double barrel shotgun or a pump action shotgun or a, or something else, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the flare gun! <laughs> the flare gun! Oh yes. That one is lever action. Uh, wait, is there like, there's lever action shotguns? I never s I don't know what a lever action shotgun actually looks like, actually. It's like bolt action? What's- what's- uh, what is- Oh wait, is it the one that- where you like- where you twist out? Like, those ones that you can spin around like- Uh, like- It's kinda like scissors or something, like the scissor gun? <laughs> I'm guessing it's that. I don't know though. Is it the is it the one that opens up like a like scissors? Scissor guns. I don't know. Maybe. Ah, okay. Ah, let's go. 
completely forgot those existed. Do they alert that's called lever action? I don't know that's called lever action. Wait, what does bolt action mean then? Like, it feels... It, like, when I see bolt action like snipers, it looks very f similar to like how, how, um, thumb action shotguns are like done. Like, you know, it's just pushing something back and then forward again. Kind of like the trigger attached to the lever that you need to jack wants to reload like a pump action. Oh. I'm guessing it's just like, it's just the same thing, but like, um, but, uh, it's doing the same thing with different, different ways of doing the same thing, I guess. I don't know. Like, I guess technically, technically pump action and lever action is like somewhat similar. Like they're doing the same thing, it's just like different methods of doing the same thing. I don't know. What if it's as if a bolt is attached to the left side of the gun doing to rack to chamber the bullet? So like so like if I get a pump action shotgun and put a bolt next to it, is it a bolt action shotgun now? <laughs> like attach a attach a bolt to a pump pump action shotgun's uh Pump thingy magic. Is it a bolt action shotgun now? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Close? I don't know. <laughs> mm -mm. And also, this brings up a question what's the weirdest action uh, a gun could have? Like, twist action? Is that a thing? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, a twist action rifle or something, I don't know. A shotgun, um, sniper, a twist action. <laughs> you twist it, you bop it, a bop action. <laughs> a bop action gun, hell yeah. You bop it to shoot it. Your guns that you had to roll like a... <laughs> oh, that's dope. It reminds me of old miniguns, but I don't know if it's actually like, uh, like not miniguns, Gatling guns, old Gatling guns, where you need to like spin the thing with a, with a thingy magic. But I don't know. Um, hold on, let me get the orange because the blue is a bit difficult to see. Yeah, orange is a bit easier to see. Mm -mm. I miss roll up car windows. I actually really like those. They just, they just don't exist anymore. I guess they are quite like um quite um inconvenient sometimes when you're like you know when you need to open your car window quickly. But it's fun. You get to twist the thing. You get to spin it. What other, what other, other actions will be like? What other actions will be cursed actually? Maybe I should try that, you know, try to, to do a gun design stream and design the most cursed guns possible. Like maybe like a pinch action gun. <laughs> you pinch it to load it. <laughs> you pinch or something. What a squeeze action gun. It's it's gonna like when you squeeze it, it's gonna be like it's gonna scream like a like a, those uh, rubber chicken. It's gonna make a funny noise. It's a squeeze action gun. <laughs> it's gonna be so curse. But funny. What a squeeze action gun. I'll, I'll arm a water gun next month. Yeah. You can pull over and need to roll down the windows as if your life depends on it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. It's not even that. Even like even like paying the toll, for example, when you want to like uh, use the toll road. You need to roll the window up, uh, down super fast if you don't want to like cast a traffic jam. <laughs> mm, yes. Okay, I'm, just, I'm gonna steal the color from over here because I'm too lazy to like mix the, the color again. Here we go, and let's do this for the for the face. Oopsies. Um, let's see, line color, line, 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 line. There we go. And also, I'm gonna like quickly go to the uh, face and do this. Okay, now let's do an intersect on line color. Oh, this. Here we go. 
Okay, now we can see all the parts we are missing. Um, I'm gonna actually make it like um, uh, bright red first. There we go. Oh my god, the hills are alive are now blood red. It fits, but oh, oh my god. Mm -mm. I think there's completely way too many holes in the museum. Oh my god, that reminds me of those guns that like just has like a bunch of holes. <laughs> uh, which, a bunch, like not of holes, barrels. Like the the guns with a million barrels on it. Hell yeah. Okay, soft shape. Okay. Now line color. Let's grab this. Um, brush. Do this. E. Okay, now the eyes. I should be the same color. As in, like the 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 teeth, like the eyebrows and eyelids. The the eye itself probably different color. see that anyways. <laughs> this. Go down here. Here we go. And there we go. Now, let's see. Um, this, let's should be this. Go and then for the eyes, let's do uh, maybe like an orange color. Yeah, that's that's nice. There you go. Uh, maybe maybe I need to make. I think I need to need to make the orange a bit yellower, kind of like this. Yeah, that's a bit better. Looks like citrus. It's a very citrusy color. What if I make it like pure yellow? Mm, that's way too bright. I think this is the best uh, option I have for the color. Do I really want to move the color a bit towards red? Let me see. Because it doesn't isn't blending well from the with the top or top orange here. Let me try this color. Um, hold on. Why is it? Um, recolor. Uh, no. A bit more red, kind of like this. Wait, now it's just back to the citrus orange. Maybe I can keep it this color, but like over here, I like I give it a different color. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I think that looks looks alright. So it like has a has a like a two different colors on it. Okay. There we go. Now, um, so I forgot this. Okay. Now for the the gun will be just black later. It will be easy. Um, now for the sleeves. I think that's. I think that's. Uh, maybe I want it a bit darker and like put a bit more red onto it. Yeah, like that. There you go. That's a nice color. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's still the Christmas music. Uh, the 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 what you the the regular song plays uh, for a long while. They forgot that Chris there's Christmas music on the on the playlist now. <laughs> Let me 
magic one to red. And also grab the skin color just so I can like quickly do the fingers here. Like so. Okay. That's uh okay, we just need the pink one, we can do that later. And the uh, the gun later, we can just use black for that. Now let's do down here first. again and I'll get this color and just just do this entire thing here you go and then for the bow mm, I'm gonna grab from the base color go to line color and gonna turn up the saturation, turn up the value, move it towards red, a lot towards red. Like that? Will this look alright? Let's see. Yeah, that looks decent. And finally the gun just, just use black. The easiest one. Here we go. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah. The text I, I can tell, I'll make it like, I'll make it probably green for now, but later I'll probably choose a color for it. I'll see what color works with the, with the, um, with the thingy, what you call it again? With the background later. Mm-mm. Take 
lost our whole life. It's life. Okay, now let's do the hair highlights. Oh, and before I forget, let's do the like the thingy. Can't hold it under the face cut or over it. Like the 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 tiny face thingy. And do you have to make use of the complementary color graph? Uh, I don't know what graph you're talking about, but I usually just say like use my use my head for like to pick colors. But most of my color palettes are actually like are actually um monochrome. But I do use comp complementary and uh, try it a bit. Like when when it comes to like picking color palettes, most of my palettes are either a monochrome. The the most the most common one is monochrome with accents. The second most common is probably complementary. Third one is a uh, triad, and quadric I barely use. I almost never use quadric, honestly. <laughs> I just can't really find a good like a good a good way to implement quadric colors. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, and yeah. Have a nice day. Uh, have a nice sleep, uh, Mr. Leg. Mm, don't worry, we're almost done anyways. So yeah. You can check the results tomorrow when I upload it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one needs to be multiply and turn not turn on the turn on the opacity a lot. And let's do something like something like this. And then effect this blur. It's not actually for a blush thing magic. It's for like a, like just a slight tint in the face, like so. Mm -mm. Hey, who know learning a bit about about makeup makes you a better artist? Like so. Now, um, let's go to the highlights. Mm -hmm. I think using like a guideline for like the color palette is pretty useful if you're like just starting out with um, art though. Because you know, like when you just start out, we don't have like the, the sense yet. We don't have like the, the art sense. So you 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 won't be able to like just eyeball the colors. It's good to like use an, an established color palette to like just help you like start off and learn why the color palette is actually good, why it works and stuff. And learn a bit of color theory. I think it's, that's important. Color theory is probably the thing that I use the most when I'm like when I'm drawing, especially when I'm doing il illustrations. Though I guess it also depends a lot on what you're drawing. Like for me, I don't. I barely use anatomy, but that's also because my drawings are very stylized. But if you're drawing something a bit more realistic and something that's like you know something that's like a bit more like maybe it's things like medical drawings, you will need you will really need a good anatomy and proper anatomy. But for me, have you seen as some of you've seen last Sunday? I suck at anatomy. <laughs> anatomy is difficult. There we go. Just highlights. And I'm gonna put some slight highlights. 
let's up here. Like so. There we go. And not like that though. Um I'll remove this. Uh, maybe I'll just freehand a bit here. Now, background. Um, let me check my reference. So hills with floors, with with like green hills with blue skies. Let's see if we can do that. Let's make a new layer, and let's do a. I'm gonna do like a quick square. I think I think going too detailed would make it a bit too like look too whack. I kind of want to try something. Let's see. So if we could grab like a very light green, like something like this, card that works. Maybe like even lighter and like this. Yeah, and then I'll clean out the opacity quite a bit, so I can like do this. This uh, no, I really don't like it. It looks very gradi gradient-ish. I think maybe I'll maybe I'll just do like do like something simple, kind of like uh, maybe solid shapes. Uh, oh, that looks look, looks kind of nice. Um, let's see, hold on. I'll do this. Do this. Give it like 90 degrees. Like that. Uh, hold on. Like so... This is 90 degrees, right? That doesn't look like 90 degrees for some reason. I think that's, I think that's 90 degrees, but it doesn't look like... First of all, it doesn't look like 90 degrees. Okay, do that. Oh, that thing is up there. It's like broken again. Hold on. Like this. Okay, there you go. No, it's not broken. There we go. And you want to do something like this. And this. There you go. Honestly, it looks kind of nice. It looks kind of nice. And then I want to. Um, let's remove this first. Image flatten, and then uh, unflatten. Do this. Do this. Oopsies, wrong layer. Let's do this. Grab the outside. Something like this. Um. And then grab this. Invert. Um, actually, no. Invert again. Do this. Do. You know how you usually do the do the back thing? I want to try something different. Maybe if I like, if I do this and like make it like very dim. No, it doesn't look. I don't like it. But yeah, almost done. Almost done. Okay, I'll just do the usual. This. There you go. There we go. The usual. And yeah, honestly, the hills are alive. The text is not that bad. 
I might want to adjust the location though. Also, I forgot to sign it. Let me sign it as well. Um, let's see. Um, where is it? I think it's in line color. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then let's uh, let's grab this. And then. Um, Look, look at DX. Can I do it shadow? Not really shadow, more like it's just a background. Okay, and then, uh, what date is today? Uh, 28 March 2023, 2024, I mean. Oh my god, I still, I still write 2023, holy but. Okay, um. I might do 20. I might like this vertical like this. So mm, I don't like it. I might make it just this, hold on. I might stack it. Okay, there you go, it's a bit better. Until March 2024. Tails are alive. None of the. <laughs> okay, what color should this be though? Um also hold on. Um on base color. Let's uh let's remove this, the text first. Just so we can move it on the other layer. So let's go to line color layer. Do this. And then, there you go. I'm gonna move it closer. And especially the Nanoda, I'm gonna like remove it much, much closer. So, this. Or just Noda. Here's our life mode done. <laughs> Alright, um... Mm, hold on, move it up a tiny bit, there we go. Okay... Uh, hmm, having the signature here is a bit like this, too, too close, maybe over here. I think this one's alright. Or on the... On, on the on the like, I can uh, like, I can like it over here. Hold on. Let me just put this over here first. And add. Add the X. 28 March 2024. Here we go. Name and date. Right. And then... Okay, this position is alright. I'll remove this. There we go. And alright, that should be all actually, yeah. I'll keep it here. Mm, I'll, I'll wrap it up here. I think, I think this is a good uh, good place to end this. I'll also crop this a tiny bit. Mm -mm, perfect, yeah. Very, per very nice. Blip. There you go. So yeah. Thanks for coming, everyone, and thanks for watching me go through from like from from zero to this thing. Uh uh. Yeah, you can upload it on this on like Twitter and like the, my post and my pixel later. But yeah. For now though, have a nice day, everyone. I'm gonna sleep. I'll be back tomorrow with the end of the month stream. Tomorrow is just gonna be me doing whatever. And uh yeah, tomorrow is like uh, I'll be back after tomorrow's stream. I'll be back on. Uh, April. But yeah, bye-bye. Have a nice day. I'm out. Boop.